chance. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art, as well. Some of it, some of it a little lewd. Uh, to, to, tho to those of you, to those of you drawing me with horses, um, y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get, <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I, re I really, truly, I hope, I hope you get the help you need. All right, explain this to me like I'm retarded. That won't be that hard. Hello! Special department! What's up, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. It's, of course, Andrew Esquire, and my camera is really too zoomed in right now. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to back this up. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Shout out to everybody who's here in the chat over here on uh, YouTube. Uh, I had a little, had some issues with Rumble. It wasn't letting me set up the stream properly, but I think I got it all figured out now, so we should be good to go on Rumble and on, um, on uh, Locals as well. And I got the news out on X. So thank you to everybody that has been there uh, helping me and appreciate everybody uh, who's been sending me good information uh, across all platforms, including uh, sending me stuff to my email. So appreciate all of y'all. Quick shout out um, to those that, that messaged, uh, I guess, sent something in beforehand. And of course, guys, this is the legal mindset. We teach you to be your own judge. So there's um, some people that send some stuff in beforehand. So I, let me just read it. I don't know why it doesn't show up on my back end here for uh, StreamYard, but it does show up for YouTube. Nine Hell said, man, why you got to stream at this time? I have no choice but to watch the VOD or come back later. It's okay. It's okay. You got the VOD. Also, Natasha, welcome back as a member of the RPG. And then saying, I suspect you will be late and gay with tentacles, even if you will be live. You need to set up a rat trap emoji. Okay, I will get that rat trap emoji. And then she followed up with C, late, and gay, and tentacles. Okay, well, why, why are they going to be tentacles? Why are they going to be tentacles? We're not lewd streaming yet. Also, Mark, uh, Mark's Mayhem. Let's go. We're doing it today. Today's going to be a great one. So we have two main topics. The first one is going to be covering Hollow Live and the Hollow Live uh, contract. Or rather, not. I'm sorry, <laughs> not the Hollow Live contract. No, no, no. There's no Hollow Live contract. We're going to be covering the Hollow Live U.S. branch, as well as the issue with um, the Scarl controversy. We'll say uh, those two issues are actually pretty huge issues. So we're going to get into both of those today. It should be great. Um, but we will be looking at the Cover Corp announcement for Cover America. Uh, in terms of what can they do correctly, and one of those things is in in comparison to the Niji Sanji contract. So we will be using the contract to actually have the contract pulled up of like what can they do better than Niji Sanji. So if this is a Niji Sanji EN contract, what would they do differently? Um, yeah, and it's not a filter, guys. It's just the lighting in here. I don't know what I think. I I think a light bulb went out. So the lighting is kind of like mood lighting right now. It's weird. It's not a filter. I promise you it is not a filter. It's just really, I think I, I think I lost a light. So it's like low light right now, a little bit, a little bit odd. Um, I do apologize. I meant to debut my, uh, my, my, v my ping tuber, uh, and I did get it working. Uh, I did get it working on OBS for recordings, but the problem was with lives. It, there's some issues with me integrating it with my live software with StreamYard. So I made us have to do it directly from OBS, but that creates some issues. Like I can't use a lot of my uh, presets, my like preset, uh, the banners, the branding, a lot of the reactions, all that saved to my uh, streaming uh, software. So I'm going to see if there's a way I can integrate that, see if there's some way I can integrate that. If not, then I'll just do it through OBS or through another platform, uh, but I really wanted to debut it live. I didn't want to make a pre-recorded episode, but if I have to debut it with a pre-recorded episode, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably going to be, I'm probably just going to go raw and OBS. Uh, listen, guys, it's me transitioning from one to another. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll hate on my ability to give, to give clips. I know, I know. Um, but it is really good. Uh, it is really good design and I'm really happy about it. Uh, so appreciate y'all. And Kidso says, wait, he's not waifu. No rule 34. No, 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 no rule 34 It's a male 
It is a male model. It is not female. Nope, all 100% male. Uh, DJ Alexander said, uh, a new law clip has emerged. Val can't defend herself in court. She should check it out. She goes on trial for being a furry. Wait, what? Val can't defend herself in court. Okay, if that one is very short, maybe I'll tack that on at the end. We'll see. Uh, we will see if it's very, very short. How, how short is this? Seven minutes? Okay, probably not. But I'll watch it. I'll watch it afterwards. Maybe I can find a good clip from that. But thank you. Uh, Volt says, LM, I sent you an email. Okay, well, thank you. I receive a lot of emails and I appreciate all of them. And I do read all of them, even if I hadn't had a chance to respond to you. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so. All right. So I do see there is some other update that may be there. So let me make sure I get that so I don't miss anything. So thank you for giving me an update you know, it's always it's always good to get updates from you guys. So do appreciate that um, that bit of information. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, other than that, uh, we're gonna have a good one today. Should be really fun. Uh, let's see here, uh, baby or Bobby for one. Appreciate you. Uh, Kitty Ghost says, do you think Rule Thirty Four cares that detail? Well, no. Yeah, exactly. Look, listen, listen. Um, it's going to happen. It always is going to happen. You have to accept it, but that doesn't mean you have to do it yourself, right? doesn't mean you have to do it to yourself. Uh, pot potato PC sounds like a relevant clip. Maybe I'll check that one out. Thank you. And once this model is out, rule 63, people. Wait, what's rule 63? Rule 63. Rule 63. Okay, rule 63 is there's an AU. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, yes. Yes, got it. That makes sense. There's definitely some AU. Um, let's see. Cover Corp can do anything better. We will see. We will indeed see. And Napoleon says, cover expanding the U.S. just seems like an absolute win. While Niji making their livers apologize for associating with certain brands is a major L. Yes. And today we're going to talk about the double L for Niji because... It's going to be both a competitor encroaching upon their market, and then you see them continuing to mismanage their talent, continuing to mismanage their livers. It's it's a big issue. It's a, it's a real big issue. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see. See, I'm really, I really wish it was daytime, then I could just open up the hatches and and let in the light. But it's so dark that I'm I'm yellow, which I think is racist because you know I'm in Asia, so obviously it making me yellow is like super racist. I'm just I'm gonna file a file a report. I'm going to file a report somewhere. Where's Uki? I got to file a report with him. Um, rule 34, in regard to your prawn, you're thinking of rule 30, uh, 63, gender inverse character. Yes, yes. They, it, it's all going to exist. It all exists on the internet. Uh, Madam Hat says, we got them, boys. Can't wait to see the pink tuber model and what you covered today. Hope you have a good stream. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Natasha says, rule 34, tentacle mindset. Calm down, Natasha. Calm down. Uh, Val Grouge Larfox says there's a shorter three minute clip of the bow thing. Nagaz can't believe what bow is into. It's quite hilarious. Just kangaroo court. Uh, if you could email it to me, that might be uh, that might be helpful. Thank you. Um, and thank you to those that emailed me about some of the other stuff going on right now. Okay, so let's start with the cover corp situation. Um, we're gonna start with that because that's the more professional side. So today's going to kind of move around. So obviously, this is a very professional analysis. The analysis of Cover Corp is going to be very professional. Uh, when we get into the Scarl stuff, I'm going to start with what needs to happen on a professional basis. And then I'm going to slowly inject, and I'll be very clear when I'm doing this, my personal opinion on handling things like that. And... Um, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be something that I put towards the end. So kind of the more professional stuff is up front, the personal opinion I'll leave off to the end. And I'll be very clear when I'm giving a personal opinion. Okay, it's very, very clear. Mm. So uh here's the announcement from Cover Corp. Announces its first overseas branch cover USA. So my first question is whenever I see this, is um, are they actually opening up a branch or, or are they just creating 
another tick on an organizational chart. So let me explain the difference, guys. This is a big deal. This is a very big deal. Are they just taking people who they already have and sorting them into an EN branch and without adding any physical location in the United States, without adding U.S. employees, without adding a U.S. contract? They're just sorting them into that and calling it a branch. Or are they going to open up an actual branch, an actual studio? Now, my assumption is, based on this, and I see you guys uh, in the chat saying this as well, that they may actually open up a physical office or small studio in California. Uh, and, I, and I do hope that's what they are doing. I do hope they're opening a physical location. Because if you guys recall, I told you all that one of the things that will bring better accountability is to have an actual office and actually be able to deal with things on a U.S. legal basis with U.S. reviewed contracts, reviewed by U.S. lawyers, with U.S. talent. That will be a way to correct the wrongs of Niji Sanji. Now, does this mean they will be totally able to, They will. It's, it's guaranteed they'll be right and they'll never do anything wrong? No. American companies do things wrong to American workers all the time happens all the time but there's greater protections than we've seen with niji sanji right what we've seen going on with niji sanji is far beyond what's available and the level of abuse that a corporation can get away with in america so while it is not going to solve everything it will indeed make it better it'll make it safer so is it a, an improvement over Niji Sanji? Absolutely, 100%. So that's what I, I hope they're doing. I hope they're opening a branch. I hope you guys are right. Uh, I'm going to read this article. I don't think the article gives a specific detail, though. I, I'm, I'm, we're going to get into it, but I don't think it says we're opening it like San Francisco. We're opening it here. I, don't, I didn't see that, but maybe I missed it. So we're going to read it again. Also, what I'm reading here is Coyote Trickster with 20 legal months and memberships. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, my friend. Make sure you accept those memberships. Uh, make sure you like the video, guys. Appreciate it. We've got 3,000 people here today uh, in the chat on YouTube. We've also got about another 100 on Rumble. And then uh, some of you guys hanging out with the locals. So appreciate you guys as well. And thank you for your uh, contributions. Um, Andrew says, hi, Legal Mindset. And thank you, whoever gifted me membership in the watch along. Probably Coyote Trickster. But there's others that have gifted, so uh, you might want to say thank you. But Coyote Trickster is the gift this time. Uh, Doomslayer says, Yagoo, try not to be base challenge, impossible edition. I like it. Um, Lindmar says, Andrew, very bad news just dropped on Twitter. I won't say more, but it makes me really sad and pissed. I, I, I was told of this like somebody DM'd me. But once again, I don't like to be somebody who breaks information. I like to be somebody who takes time to look at it. So this is a big thing for me, for my channel. Um, and this kind of is going to loop in with Scarl when we talk about it later. I don't think it's a good policy to comment on something in a, in a deep way that you haven't done a lot of research on or haven't at least looked at or cross-referenced or seen what people are saying. So I, I think we all know what we're talking about. I think I'm sure they'll get other super chats throughout the night. I will look into that and, and see what's going on there. Um, but do appreciate uh, super chat to bring that, bring that to my attention. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, Jess said, if Cover USA <laughs> needs a good American legal counsel, I know a good Florida lawyer, wink, wink. Yeah, I would be ha happy to help them out, although I'd probably be better as a consultant than an actual employee. Um, I think that arrangement would be better, but I I'd be happy to help out any company that needs assistance. That's what I do uh, on the regular. I, I do that for a lot of folks. In fact, I you know help somebody um, with a small business just the other day to set up their business. Um, so, I mean, it's what I do. I'd be happy to help with the contract. At this point, I think I think we've got a pretty firm grip on, on what's good and what's bad. In fact, we may even, I, I thought of a fun project. I may even like draft a template, like good contract. Like here's a bad contract. Here's a good contract. And just put that out there for people to use uh, so that they can have a good contract in hand, right? Something that's good, something that's useful. Um, and that they can just take and say, hey, look, this is a contract for America, right? This is for America. 
um, for an American talent, right? Um, that would be useful, be better, be a good start. Tinklin said, uh, you know what you need to for your starting clips? A good morning, motherfuckers from Coco. Uh, you might need a bleeper, though. Yeah, I would definitely need a bleeper for that, for sure. Uh Coco Soros says, loving your content on VTubers. Wonder if Hollow is watching your content and thought an opening American branch for they really, for they caught out, uh, for their caught out, called out like Niji. Here's the thing, guys. I know people were saying this and a lot of people were saying, Andrew, you said this on Twitter. Or sorry, you said this in your video and now they're announcing this and we got this news dropping on Twitter about the cover branch. Maybe they're watching you. As much as my ego would love that, as much as I would love to think it was me, it was definitely not me, guys. They were probably thinking about this for a long time. Now, what they may have done is they may have accelerated the announcement. They may have accelerated the announcement. But I guarantee you they took at least six months to think about this. I, I guarantee you. So it's probably far before all the Doki stuff, right? So it's a big ship. It takes a long time. Corporations take a long time to move. Now, they may have upped the announcement. They may have said, oh, man, this is a good time to do it because Niji's down, so this will give us a leg up. So that's something that corporations do do. They do accelerate stuff or delay stuff based on news. So if there's news and they've already been working on it, they might say, let's accelerate it because it's like just another W. It just puts them up there even more. Um, so that might be something where they announced this before they really were, uh, 100% sold on it or 100% ready to, it may be announced a month before. We don't know that we may never know that. Right. But accelerating doesn't mean they did it because of Doki or because of me or anybody else. Right. They, they did this because they wanted to do this and because it's a good idea. It's frankly a really good idea. Speaking of a good idea, memberships are a good idea. Miss Chubby Bunny, welcome as a member. Appreciate you. Uh, remember, back when I was a kid, we used to play this game, Chubby Bunnies, which was where you'd stuff marshmallows in your cheek to see how many you could fit. It was like a it's like a church game back in the day. It was a long, long time ago. Uh, Akito, uh, welcome. Appreciate you as a member um, joining here today. Thank you very much. Uh, and let's see. We got 20 from Zinth who says, I think it is super interesting. Uh, to come from the recent events that Cover and Hollow may have had the same blind spots as Niji in international law. But shining a light on Niji, uh, we allow Cover to to fix the issues. Yes. And by the way, I am sure that the people in the industry which are watching are now paying attention. I'm sure they've looked at the contract. I am very sure they've looked at the contract. They'll never say so, but I guarantee you they have taken a look at it. It got out there widely enough that I think enough people have seen it and said, oh, okay, we got to think about this. Because what happens if our contract goes out, whether it's through litigation, whether it's through a fight, whether it's through an employee issue, we got to make sure this thing is uh, better. I, I do think they've seen it. I do think they've seen it. Now, have they changed because of that? Maybe not. But might they consider it for the future? Maybe. Hopefully. Cody Trickster says, logistically, a physical location is a smarter move, not just in regards to talents, but also in regards to copyright for tax purposes. Yes. Also, because if you want to do in-studio stuff, like you want to do like full body mocap stuff that you need like special equipment for, it's easier to just buy that and, sh and stuff it in an office somewhere instead of and have the folks go there instead of flying them out to Japan every single time. That's really not efficient. So you'd want to do uh, any of that stuff uh, locally if you could. Muzzy says, while Niji Sanji stumbles, cover makes a move. Yagu will conquer all continents. Cultural victory. Oh, Indeed. Paulette, welcome as a new member. Appreciate you. Zul says, well, I believe this cover announcement is, in, is for an EN office. There's already a hollow EN branch. Kali, uh, Kali and Fuamoko, bow bow, are two from it that use, use in your clips. Yes. Uh... Hold on, let's just play the Fomoka. Yeah, you'll be there, okay? Today! Mm. Today! Not tomorrow! Not tomorrow. Today! Ah, 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 ah. Today! So, obviously, yes, there are people that are in the U.S., right? So, like, they're, they're in here, but my understanding might be they're going to actually set up a branch of some kind. I mean, now, it could, like I said, it could be a subdivision, but... Uh, understanding that this is could be a branch, a physical branch, I think that would be a big asset, huge asset. So uh, definitely something they don't have right now. 
Uh, let's see. So we're getting a le legal mindset lolly short stack model in the future. No, but appreciate the thought for a lolly short stack. Okay. Uh, Jay says, did you know Hololive scammed their first gen Indonesia talents? Did they? I did not know this. Uh, Muna said they thought they joined an idol company, but instead they became comedians. Wait, what? I didn't know anything about that. Lily says, do you have any opinions on Cambodia? Also an Asian country tier list from an expat perspective. It might be a fun stream if people don't get mad at their countries. The no, I, I mean, look, I like a lot of countries. They have pros and cons. I think Cambodia, the real uh, potential for Cambodia is in growth. So a lot of the countries in uh, Southeast Asia have already grown a lot. Thailand's already grown amazingly, especially compared to its neighboring countries, right? It's come up very fast. And whenever you're a country that has room to grow, has room to expand, there's opportunity. And anybody who wants to go start a business, if you want to go to, you know, if you were going to Cambodia or even Vietnam to a certain extent, although Vietnam's a little ahead, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for people to start businesses. Now, you have to be careful. Make sure you own it. Make sure you have an interest in it. Make sure you have control of it. But there's a lot of potential for, um, for businesses, also for real estate. So those are two big things for Cambodia. Uh, of course, do your own research, do your own due diligence. It's kind of like I've been to Cambodia. It's like Thailand probably was like 10 or 20 years ago. It's probably like 1980s Thailand is Cambodia. But I mean, no problem with it. I like I, the Cambodians that I met have been very friendly. It was very nice. My time in Phnom Penh, uh, Phnom Penh was very nice. So uh, much love for, for Cambodia uh, to be positive. Obviously, it's at a different development level, right? That's just a factual statement. Um, Kamal PL, as a member, welcome. Uh, Snowball, welcome as a member. And Mazarova Palama, 10 memberships. Appreciate you very, very much. We'll get one last year and then we'll go. Cover is the parent corporate company, so more than likely it's going to be an office. Hollow Live already has an EN branch. Okay, so that would make much more sense. If Hollow Live does have an actual branch, then yeah, it would make much more sense. All right, let's uh, do this, this style. Here we go. Okay, so Cover Corp. And I'll zoom in here so you guys can see a little better. I don't know why. Hold on, guys, because this, this screen over here is just so small. Uh, okay. Uh, Cover Corp will strive to create a virtual environment or virtual entertainment that transcends borders and generations to promote localization in various regions and change the global expansion of YouTubers. Okay. This is something I want to be very clear about which is localization. I don't think they mean localization like they're going to change it and make it like super political or whatever else. I think they mean localization like just they're providing more of the type of content that people want in that country and more uh, experiences that can be specific for America and the American market rather than for the Japanese and Japanese market. Um, but speaking of specific, thank you so much, Kurohime with the 50. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Incredibly based. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And all of those monkey. out there, I appreciate you. You guys are great litigators in the chat for uh, Kurohime. Appreciate you. It lets me do what I, I do on a regular basis. Just keep this information going. Keep this good chain of information for everybody to keep them informed and give them a more professional perspective. Um, so thank you. Appreciate you. And thank you for the support. It really, really helps the channel. Also, Muzzy, thank you for the 10. You're, you're really, really great supporter. It's not just been 10. You've probably dropped 100 over the last uh, couple, or last week or so. So thank you so much, Muzzy. Appreciate you and the support of the channel. You, you guys are great. Um, so Cover Corp. So their main corporation is headquartered in Minatoku, Tokyo. This is the the pretty much the downtown or one of the downtowns of Tokyo. If you guys have not been to Tokyo, and I know a lot of, a lot of um, personalities are in Japan right now. So I know that, for example, I think Kyo went right now. I know what we're going to talk about Scarl, who just went. Um, it's it's Tokyo is crazy because Tokyo is like twenty cities in one city. It's really like it's really unique in that there isn't if in Tokyo there there is a central district and there are places that are more central, but each little city is kind of its own thing. If you're in Ginza, that's Ginza. If you're in uh, Akibara, that's its own thing. Shinjuku, uh, Shibuya, uh, Minato, Shinagawa, like they're they're all they're all kind of their own thing. So you've got to really experience Tokyo like district by district. 
Uh, and it's it's kind of crazy. If you go there as a tourist, you're probably only going to see a, a shade of Tokyo. Um, I remember finding on my last trip to Tokyo, which is probably my 12th time I've been to Tokyo uh, now over the last four years. Um, I found a district in um, in Tokyo that was like little it was like little um, France. Like I forget what it's called, like little France, Tokyo was it? it's like. um Ah, Kagurazaka, Kagurazaka, Kagurazaka. That was like, there's all these cafes. It was very cute. Like, it's a really, really, really interesting city. And there's a lot to explore there. So I always can come back to Tokyo because I always find something new to check out every single time I go there. People are saying it's because Hollow Expo is going on. Okay, well, that makes sense, right? That definitely makes sense. Um, but yeah, do love it. And, and once again, uh, love Japan, love Tokyo. Uh, Jessa, since we're talking about Cover USA, I think it's time to formally introduce you to Coco Kane of Hollow Lives USA Language Warning. I have that queued up, Jess. I have that video queued up, but I need to do the professional coverage before I show that clip because that clip is a little spicy. I can't do that sp that clip in the first like thirty minutes. I gotta I gotta warm up before I go to Coco Kane in the and uh, in that clip, which is it's a good clip, but just let's let's hold on for that one. Um, so Cover Corporation announced it will be opening its inaugural overseas branch, Cover USA North America. The main objective is for opening their first location outside Japan that is aimed at localization efforts to facilitate global expansion. This language saying opening first location, this sounds like a physical location to me. To me, this sounds like a physical location. That's what that sounds like to me. Uh, Cover will uphold this mission. Together, let's create culture loved by all and is committed to expanding its talent group to English-speaking countries and Indonesia. I love it's like, and Indonesia. You know, by the way, I, no, nothing wrong. Like, I love Indonesia. Love the Indonesian people. Um, it's great. But, uh, but it's just interesting to, like, they randomly throw in Indonesia there. Um, engaging in VTuber business on a global scale. Given this context... Cover Corp believes that to expand and promote VTuber culture globally, it is crucial to establish localized business environments, including tailored content and sales activities. Hold on. Hold on. What does that mean? When you say localized business environment, that means to me that they are going to tailor their contracts or should tailor the contracts to U.S. law. Right. Uh, uh, so that, that's what I, when I see that language, when I see this language right here, localized business environment, I'm thinking this is a localized contract. So I think they are going to actually look at righting the wrongs of Niji Sanji and doing right by their talent. Now, I don't know this. This is, this is speculation, guys. This is speculation. But this is what I would assume, especially if you're having a local office. If you have a local office, you really can't pull the excuse anymore that, oh, this is going to be litigated in Tokyo. If you have a local office, you would say, okay, this is going to be, if there's any dispute, it's going to be litigated wherever the office is. So if the office is in California, it'll be under California law. If it's in Texas, it'll be Texas law. If it's in Idaho, it'll be Idaho law, whatever, right? Um, important is that this is in America, which I, I actually like because I can comment on American law. So this actually lets me comment on this much more competently um, than if it was something that was non-American law, like Canuck law, maple syrup law, you know, much different or can be different. So they're going to do uh, tailored content and sales. In the past year, Cover Corp has begun awareness of the VTuber industry in this market. Yeah, so this is what they're looking at. What they're looking at is the stats and the growth. And Japan is a very saturated market. Japan already knows about VTubing. The people in Japan that are into, into uh, VTubing already know about it. And frankly, look, the only thing that's going to change in Japan is the demographics. As more young people come up, VTubing will be more normal for them. So they'll get more young people as the older folks who may not be into VTubing will be phased out, um, you know, in terms of the market, in terms of the market share and the market percentage. So in terms of Japan, they've probably captured all the market they're going to capture now. But in terms of the U.S., I can tell you right now, VTubing has not captured 
all of the market it can capture and it will explode in popularity and the projections which they use show and i've talked about these projections they show something like 30 percent growth which is nuts if you had look if you had a stock that you could say this is going to have 30 percent growth for four years everybody would be all in on that stock right that is insane but that is the market production VTubing. Of course, this is not financial advice. Hold on. Do I have the do I have the banner? Do I have the banner? Here we go. Not financial, medical, romantic, horse, waifu, or monkey advice. Not, not any of that, right? It's none of that. But it, it it's a market that is clearly gonna grow. Uh in 2023, Cover Corp held the first ever Hololive production concert, Hololive English first concert, Connect the World in North America, in addition to collaborating and partnering with, with international companies. Um, I'm so sad because there's going to be, I saw this from Lydia, but there's going to be a Stardew Valley music concert here in a and it's going to come to Asia. But the days it's in Seoul and Bangkok, I'm traveling. I will actually be in Manila, ironically, so I'm going to miss it. It's very sad. It's very sad. Um I like Stardew Valley. I, I really like Stardew Valley. Uh, continuing. Hollow Live Production also participated in 26 overseas events from April 23rd to December 23rd. In addition, in August 2023, Cover Corp's VTuber Gargura. Oh, there we go. VTuber of the Year at the Streamy Awards, which, by the way, this is also why a lot of the haters, a lot of the aunties, the people that hate on VTubing, come for Gura because you know she got the she got in the numero uno and uh you know in the largest content creator focused award show in North America they were also awarded runner up award in the project category at the CJPF awards an initiative organized by Cool Japan public private partnership platform intellectual properties to headquarters cabinet office of Japan so yeah that's why the, that's why the aunties come for Gura because yeah they know what's up um they, they, and people always try to come for the number one. A's in the chat. Yes, I see you. I see you guys with the A's in the chat. Um, a, yes, A, 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 A. A, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, imagine seething at a shark kid. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, and also Brian said, thank you to whoever gave me the membership. Probably. Well, there's a lot of people that you could potentially thank for that. So just general, general thanks go out to everybody who gifted memberships today. Um, it aims to select and commend uh, initiatives deemed suitable for the cool Japan strategy from a wide range of videos and projects that promotes Japan's attractiveness overseas and helps facilitate inbound expansion. With selections made by judging a committee, these activities have helped expand the recognition and awareness of VTuber issues. Cover Corp is actively striving to promote the culture of Japan-made VTubers phenomenon worldwide. Last year, we participated in 20 anime conventions and held a large-scale concert. Guys, this is the biggest place where I think VTubers are going to be able to move in because, frankly, I have been going to anime conventions for a while. Um, in the uh, in the in the U.S., uh, I went to a lot of anime conventions. Um, some were my very Colossal Con, uh, Momo Con, right? Um, a bunch of other anime conventions, also local ones. People wouldn't know ones in Orlando and in Miami and in Tampa, other places. Um, you know, so I, I I've been to a lot of anime conventions, and I can say that adding adding VTuber content will actually make them a lot more relevant. To be honest. Because they they do need more activities, more things where people can interact, and there's so much cool stuff that you can do with interactivity with VTubers. Like you can make an event where the interactivity is in the room. You can make the um, you can make stuff where there's so much more you can do with VTubers at these conventions. So it does kind of make them a little bit more relevant. I think it can actually um, improve conventions and it can improve the convention scene. Whereas a lot of conventions. Um, I think, frankly, we're kind of boring and they just turn into just selling merch, right? Which it's fine. Merch is fine. Merch is cool. But, you know, I can only see Pocky so many times before I'm like, yeah, it's Pocky. You can order it on the Internet. Like, I don't need to go to a con to, like, get Pocky, right? Like, or like Ramune or whatever, like the, the Japanese drink with the marble in it. You know, it's like, don't need to go to a convention. You can just order that 
right? Although it is a hazard in some places. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's possible to do these things to get merch other ways. It's not possible if you create a unique experience where you're interacting with the VTubers in a very specific way. I think it's very possible. Um, Fumoko isn't a year old and they sit on 700 K. That is nuts. That is nuts. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and Lumi for 10 says, never thought I'd be watching a lawyer dissecting law and find it ent entertaining enough to spend almost a month to catch. But finally, after seeing all of it, I am here on my first live stream. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I'm going to try to do content at least, you know, every other day. I, I try to really fight burnout hard, but uh, I will have one tomorrow as well. I have a stream tomorrow. I'm going to do the downfall of Hololive China. Uh, so that's going to be something I want to cover because that's going to be very informative for uh, cover as it goes into America and what can go wrong and what can go right. Especially when they look where they are setting up, right? Very, very, very important. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's just China. It's completely irrelevant. Uh, actually, there's some things that do pertain no matter where you set up because you'd be surprised at the lack of due diligence that companies will do when they set up in a particular location. Anyways, we are excited to announce the establishment of our first overseas branch to further bring awareness to VTuber culture in America, North America. Through our North American branch, uh, and it is interesting how I know they mentioned it's going to be a U.S., branch it's going to be in in the u.s i think right it says they're going to establish in north america it would be weird to have cover u.s and canada i i hope they don't do that that would be very weird but okay um through our north american branch we aim to expand the pr local pr and business operations so once again if you're doing business in america you got to follow american laws we look forward to collaborating with various local companies in the future and are excited about the opportunities ahead, commented uh, Motoaki Tanigo, CEO of Cover Corporation. Starting with Cover USA, Cover Corporation will further deploy various measures to expand the local community and create new business opportunities on site. Simultaneously, through the content IP of VTubers, they will collaborate to create a new field where virtual entertainment transcends boundaries, trans borders, and generations and creators from various genres around the world can thrive. Awesome. Awesome. So, Establishing Cover USA. Now, now, not a lot of specifics here, but in terms of the intent, sounds like a physical location from the intent, particularly talking about <clears throat> business operations. That to me sounds local. Establishing Cover USA. In the recent years, the global entertainment market, including games, anime, and manga, has been expanding. Why has it been expanding? Well, as we all know, especially people that have been watching this show, and we watch this channel, Western media sucks, and there's nothing good. It's just this trash tier content. So people are looking at manga, games, anime, manga, manhwa, uh, Eastern entertainment, particularly including VTubing. The VTubing market in particular is expected to reach 80 billion yen in Japan. This is just in Japan, guys. So uh, this is one of the graphs I pulled up before. This is just in Japan. This is not including the international market, which is really hard to predict. It's extremely hard to predict. And I think even these predictions of the 25 trillion uh, by 2028, that might even be an understatement because I think there's going to be more inflation. But uh, this is probably an understatement. Among these, the North American market has a strong foundation in entertainment culture with its own IPs. Japanese character IPs with worldwide recognition have historically gained popularity and enthusiasm through North American media channels, further expanding through merchandising and licensing. Let's be real, guys. Uh, out there, when we saw this week Dragon Ball Z and how big Dragon Ball Z is, uh, shout out to my my uh, shout out to my Mexican brothers and sisters down there. Uh, you guys went up big for Dragon Ball this 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 week. It was really great. It was a beautiful thing to see. Just the fans around the world, right? All around the world just loving Dragon Ball. Great reminder that this is something international. And this is not something that's bound to one country, right? Salute and shout out. Obviously, rest in peace. But remembering that legacy and the, the legacy that Akira Toriyama left behind is one of an international message. It's a global message. That's something very, very, very important to find out. It's big in Latin America as well. But uh, guys, I think the first step before you go into Latin America, you got to go into the US, North America. 
And I think what they'll do is they'll start a U.S. branch, and then the U.S. branch, you can just spin off a Spanish branch, like Telemundo or Univision, right? I had a good friend who worked for Tele Telemundo in, um, in Miami. Um, very, very successful uh, company. But you can just spin off a Spanish Spanish speaking branch or Spanish dedicated branch, right? Very easy to do. But you got to start there. But yeah, big shout out. The legacy lives on. That's what we do to carry people forward. The legacy lives on. That this anime and the good messages, good stories are international and they touch all people throughout all times, regardless of what the message is. If it is a good message, a strong story, it will touch people around the world. So go and make good stuff. Uh, Fallen Hero, thank you for the membership. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, Amelie is a singer in VA who is a VTuber and goes to conventions a lot. Oh, cool. That's good. That's good. Uh, this is concerning. They're gonna they're gonna go woke if they have a, a U.S. branch for sure. Okay, uh, you know what? Let me put a pin in that, and we'll discuss that in a second. We'll discuss that in a second. That that that'll that'll be after. I, I will I will make some comments on that. I'll make some comments on that. But thank you, thank you for that. Uh, LM, have you watched Hello Everyone by Tanganox? I have not, but I will look it up after the stream. Thank you. Does that mean we finally get cover U.S. stocks in the U.S.? Unless they open it up as a publicly traded subsidiary, but I doubt it. I think they're going to keep it private. If it's small, it would just be a private uh, extension of their company, right? So a foreign company can open a, a subsidiary in America. It's totally possible. It's not It's not a problem at all. Um, Dread Clown says, I check in on VTuber Bumpus from time, but I get lost in each situation. Summary or recap. Uh, I did a summary video. So if you want to get that, Dread Clown, you can get that. Thank you. Pretty sure I super chatted about CN the other day. Was excited to see your take on it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. The problem is this came out and this is big news. So uh, that's going to come up on my next stream. You know, there's so much to cover here. So much to cover. And then uh, Django's Fett says, I'm a simple man. Fumoko got mentioned. Bow, bow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, let's finish this and then I'll get some more comments here. So given this background of growth, right, and that, that there's possibility for growth, Cover Corp has decided to establish the Cover USA in North America as a first step in accelerating global business and content expansion. We aim to elevate the VTuber culture in Japanese-originated new business uh, that can compete alongside manga, anime, and games on a global scale. And they give links here. Now, I did look at these links. Uh, one, this study right here, the analysis, you have to buy this analysis. And I, I'm not about to buy something. But just in the synopsis, the syllabus, it's pretty much data. So these guys are just looking at data, cold, hard data, and making their assessment. And I want to say I, I actually miss that. Um, in a world where American corporations are, are less and less looking at data and numbers and more and more looking at other things other than facts, it is very refreshing to see the Japanese corporation, particularly cover, looking at facts and figures and giving the people what they want. Because really what these economic numbers, what these financial numbers re reflect is what people are demanding, right? This reflects what people want and pe people want VTubing. They want VTubing in their country, in their language. They want good content and they will support it right? That is clear and it's backed up by the data. The data is absolutely there on this. This is not something that's feelings or whatever. This is absolutely facts. So um, and that's that's what actually gets me more interested in this is that it's factual. This isn't my feelings about VTubing. It's clear. It's very, very clear. Super clear. Um, so let me get into a couple of things. Uh, let me answer a couple of these chats and uh, and go through it. Um, Hammond says there are a couple of relevant documents they released under the IR tab on that site. One is long. The other is more like a legal document. Really interesting. Okay. Let me pull this down. Let me see if I can find this real quick under investor relations, any documents they released. Okay. I'll have to find those. Maybe it's like a disclosure or something, right? Let's see. Let's see. They released um notice on the establishment maybe this is like a filing document let's see let's see what we got here so yeah oh here we go this is interesting hold on what do we have here so we've got some more information here thank you for letting me know about that so there is an actual document that was translated here i don't think anybody's taking a look at this but your boy andrew is going to take a look at this. 
I don't think anybody else has looked at this. Thank you so much for that. Look at that. Hammett coming through. Thank you, Hammett, for the info. Appreciate you, brother, getting my getting my legal eye on this. Good job there. H in the chat for Hammett. That's a good one. That's a, that's a definite W. Appreciate you. So we've got a translated document here from Cover Corp. This is March 12th, right? So this is a new document, right? Notice on establishment and launch date of the local base. So, okay, this is clear. It is actually a local location, right? If, they're, if they put base here, like this is a physical location. Uh, obviously, the representative, uh, Motokai Tanigo is the CEO. The contact is Yosuke Kaneko, who is executive officer and CFO. Uh, Cover Corporation, here and after referred to as the company, very typical, very legal. Um continues to prepare for an operational launch of a local base to pursue global expansion. As one of our local bases, uh, we have come to expect it and expect it to launch operations. Reason for establishing. So this is kind of the same ones they gave here. So Hollow Live Production, operated by the company, currently operates a total of six VTuber groups in Japan, Indonesia, and English-speaking countries. In particular, our English-speaking groups have been becoming aware of growing momentum in our overseas markets, such as English-speaking countries, while appearing at an increasing number of overseas local events. This was in addition to a local live event in July of 2023 and debuting new English-speaking units in September 2023 and November after Japan moderated its COVID-19 counter-infection measures the same year. Oh, dear sweet G. That <laughs> Talk about triggering language, guys. I was on the front line of that, particularly in California. That was a nightmare. A nightmare. Um, but anyways, <laughs> never mind that. Uh, in engaging our operations from the next year onward in the situation, we will think it is important to develop a business environment in which our content localized in areas and to pursue sales activities across the world, including Japan. This is rather than supplying content from Japan to overseas. Uh, Cover USA was initially established as part of our efforts to conduct on-site research and facilitate transactions. The company has been preparing to launch operations, including dispatching personnel to the region, in order to widen its activity scope as a local sales base that addresses the already large North American market. We recently moved to cover uh, move closer to completing the preparations for dispatching personnel to the head office. So we now expect to start official operations in the second quarter of fiscal year, March, 2025. There it is, guys. We got a date. We got a date. So they will be operating there from March, 2025. That's pretty big. So one year from now. So this is a big one. Right. Um, uh, second quarter fiscal. Oh, it's ending. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong here. I read this wrong. Second quarter of the fiscal year. So their fiscal year, their fiscal year runs on a different calendar. So this is something that's very common for corporations where a fiscal year will run uh, contrary to your typical calendar. So many times a fiscal year starts in September. So fiscal years are usually three quarters. Right, so three, 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 three. So three months from March is what? I, let's do it. So March, April, May. That's from first quarter. Second quarter would be you know, June, July, August. Right. So somewhere June, July, August. Right. Because if the fiscal year that ends in March of next year, that would be somewhere June, July, August. So somewhere in that range. Right. Somewhere in that range. So yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know four quarters. Yes. My lawyer, Matt. guys, I'm a lawyer, okay? I'm a lawyer. Listen, you guys gotta, you gotta be patient with me. You guys gotta. All yeah, right, explain this to me like I'm retarded. That won't be that hard. It really, guys, you gotta be patient with me. Be patient with me. Okay. Uh, go forward. We plan to use Cover USA to set up. By the way, shout out to Gator who took the. Uh, he gave me a clip that took the volume down on that. So, G litigators in the chat. Drop some litigator emojis in for Gator, who who edited that clip to to make it to make it less ear numbing. Um, going for we plan to use Cover USA to set up our English speaking countries. So, what does this mean? Set up activities. To me, this means contracts. So the contracts will run out of that branch. That would make sense for me, right? Thank you guys. Dropping those Gators. 
member only emoji. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And expand the business structure of our local bases in accordance with the developments. So here we go. Uh, outline of the base. Oh, here it is, guys. They said it. Cali. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, let me. Okay. I'll get to my comments on this in a second. Okay. All right. Um, principal business is operation related to VTuber business in the USA. Capital. Whoa. They're going to put about a million into it. Establishment in April of 2023. Date to start second quarter. Plan to be wholly owned by the company. So this is this is uh, not going to be something that is um, a partnership or anything else. This is this is probably guys. This is probably a legal disclosure, or rather, an SEC disclosure, Japanese SEC disclosure. They probably had to disclose this uh, as part of their corporate filings. So that's why we got this. Awesome. I love publicly traded companies. Uh, there's no future outlook. There is no significant matter affecting the business results for the fiscal year of March 2024, and we made no revision to the forecast of business results for the year announced in February 8th. Well, at least they didn't use the word negligible. They said the word negligible. Okay, so let me talk about this. Now, somebody was worried about the woke stuff, and, and let me just tell you guys, uh, so let me comment on that previous super chat. The general business environment of America and particularly corporate America, it tends to be pretty homogenous having been in corporate America. So as whatever the corporate culture in the U.S. changes, uh, I, I imagine the subsidiary would kind of drift along with that. You guys can read into that however you want to read into that. However, the most corporations go is how they go. That's why all corporations tend to do the same sort of activities. For example, if it's a certain type of month, they all put up supportive messages for whatever month it is because that's what corporations do they just kind of go along right and most of the time by the way it's just lip service it's just mouth service whatever else but the bigger thing is not politics it's really not politics at all it's the level of regulation and the level of taxes so the one problem with california is it is very expensive to set up a business there and when you set up a business in california you are under very intense labor laws very strict labor regulations you have to follow things like we showed you where you have to submit the labor contract to the labor board so all of these contracts are going to have to go by the labor board in california that's going to be a lot more process if they were in i don't know uh, I'm just getting my home state of Florida or Texas or Alabama or Nevada or uh, Utah. They wouldn't have to do exactly the same thing. They're in North Dakota. They wouldn't have to do the same thing. You guys can figure out whether you think that's for better or for worse. We can debate on that, right? I tend to think more business regulation makes it harder for people to do business and it tends to drive small businesses out of business. But Cover is not a small business. Cover is a large business. So typically large businesses can bear the burden of regulation and can bear the burden of uh, these restrictions. It's relatively easy for them to hire lawyers, to figure it out, to get it done. It's much harder for small businesses and medium-sized businesses to get started in a particular, in a state like California. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to penetrate that market. Um, so that's what I have a concern about California. Now, I understand why they would do it there, why they would do it there, because, well, a lot of the conventions are in uh, L.A. or in San Francisco. It's a very easy flight from um, Asia. Uh, California has a huge advantage of the flight from Japan to California. That's the reason why uh, a lot of the diaspora was there to begin with is because it's a it's a one stop flight right from Japan to California. If you were going to, let's say, I don't know, uh, Tennessee, right? There's no direct Nashville to Narita, right? That doesn't exist. There is a direct from Narita to LA or Haneda even, I think. And I think Haneda's got us direct to LA as well. Um, I, I prefer to fly into Haneda. Always fly into Haneda. Always, always, if you can, always. Uh, but I can see why they're doing it. So I can see why they would go there. And here's another thing I can say too. Understand that as a company grows, typically what they will do is they will expand beyond uh, beyond their initial place. So they may start in California, but they may end up moving their headquarters. They may say, you know what? Uh, we've got a lot of folks that are like in the center of the country, right? So we might go relocate to Houston. Right, we may relocate to uh, Dallas, wherever they may relocate to Salt Lake City. I don't know. I mean, somewhere else. It's possible, right? So just because they start in California doesn't mean they necessarily will end there. Uh, but that's just my comments on that uh, overall. Um, let's continue with the uh, the stuff here. The other day, we I want to get through all of this before we get 
to the pretty hilarious clip here as well as the um as well as the scarl stuff it's crazy how lm covered the other day about having a local headquarters and cover announces theirs I, it's just timely guys and once again it shows you guys look i i worked for a fortune 500 company i i know what i'm talking about i'm not somebody who doesn't know what i'm talking about here i i literally was corporate counsel uh, I've worked for large corporations. I know what they need to do. I know it can make a real change for corporations. So I knew this was happening. So that's why I said it, right? And it's just true. And it's my area of expertise. So that's why I, I, I'm very passionate about it because I, I can tell you when a corporation is acting in a bad way or a good way. Even if I can't precisely pin down the law, I can say, no, that's something they should be doing and that's something they should not be doing. Um. Cryocide says, I've seen the filing for incorporation within California with an address. Have you seen it? I think it's what we just looked at. CJ Max says, thank you for the stream. Just sent you a clip for stream reaction. Might be appropriate. Okay, I will check it out after. Thank you so much. Uh, Victory says, Yagu is pronounced more like Yago. Oh, Yago? Yago? Yago. Like Yago. Really? Really? Okay. I, I kind of like Yagu, but Yago, okay. Yago. Fine. Fine, fine, Yago. I don't like the goo though. The goo sounds pretty. The goo sounds pretty baller. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Ira Mamin says, "Does this mean Lizzo will debut as?" <laughs> Hello, base of department. That's my new reaction. We're gonna be using the hello base department today a, a little bit. It's gonna be, it's gonna get a little base towards the end of this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mislead you. It's gonna eventually get there. Okay. So <laughs> all right. Uh got that one. Okay. Uh Nij SJ F up Ian branch cover. Noted. Noted. Uh check IR post explains the detail. Just got that. Thank you. Dorito says, hopefully um, it'll let Western talent play Western fair use and defamation laws. Do you think it'll work legally? Yes. If they are in the U.S., they're going to have to submit to U.S. Uh, laws regarding fair use uh, for that content. Now, they may not like that, but they will have to deal with it. Now, what can happen is they could region block content in Japan. So they could say, oh, well, but in Japan, we've got extra rights, so therefore we block it in Japan. Okay, but you're going to have to allow fair use in the U.S. So that is going to broaden that argument uh, regarding fair use. Niall says, uh, nice, seems cover is actually working on its business and not shuffling money around. It's good. It's not going to a yacht. Uh, do talents already under contract with hollow need to sign new contracts in the U S um, subsidiary, or is it up for negotiation? I think it's for each talent. It's going to be on a case by case basis. And I have not seen their hollow live contracts. I have not seen a hollow live contract. Let me not represent. I have, I've seen other contracts other than Niji Sanji. Uh, yes, indeed. I have seen other companies contracts, but I will keep those confidential. Um, but uh, yeah, it is definitely something I have not seen yet. Not seen. I would love to see a Hollow Life contract. I would love to see a Hollow Life contract. That'd be great. Uh, Junie, what's up, Junie? Says this is big. The prime location for CCs to move and establish is Texas. Once in the States, cover can potentially reduce North American production costs. And Junie, I think I understand why they're going to, to California, but like many California corporations, in fact, a historic number during the pandemic and afterwards have moved from California to Texas, uh, I can see them moving over time. I think a lot of people, especially foreigners and foreign corporations, they have a perception of California based on what California was 20 years ago or 30 years ago, but they haven't updated their perception in the last five years, particularly in terms of the taxes, the business environment. And look, I'm not talking about politics, guys. This isn't a political assessment. This is a cold lawyer. Like this is a the coldest corporate money grubbing analysis ever, just from a pure greedy corporate professional level, right? Just the corporations wanting to keep their their money, right? Just this pure, just money hungry, absolute, just thinking about money. It's it's a it's a dollars and cents thing. It's a okay. Well, we can save literally like maybe half of the amount we spend on regulatory costs and taxes by moving to a different state, incorporating a different state. At a certain point, you're going to do that. At a certain point, the the uh, the convenience outweighs the convenience that you get by having one flight from Japan is outweighed by the cost. 
Now it's not there in the beginning. It's a small start. It's only a million dollars. And I know, I know a million dollars is a lot of money for you guys. I know before a corporation, a million dollars is not very big. I know that people are going to freak out. In fact, it's a million dollars. Oh my God. It's actually not that big. It's not that big for a corporation. That's actually kind of small, right? So for a corporation, you guys have no idea how much it takes to set up a business. If you, if you think that's a lot of money. Um, thank you, Valkyrie Nero for 10. Appreciate you and appreciate you supporting the channel again, uh, as well as last stream. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really, really appreciate that. And all you guys coming through here. Um, Jir John says, really enjoy your stream legal mindset. One of the things that VTuber agencies hold back on is game permissions and fair use. Would a U.S. presence allow talents access to more games? It could. Now, granted, they still have to negotiate with the companies, obviously, uh, if there's something, if there's a company that might want to strike them or be litigious like Nintendo, right? Like Nintendo is still going to mess with you. Even if you move physically to the U.S., now they'll have a better argument, right? They'll have a better argument to um, to play those games, right? But I mean, the best scenario always for intellectual property, the cleanest is to get permission. Go to the people whose game you want to play and get permission. And frankly, frankly, it benefits those corporations to allow people to play their games. If of all the VTubers are playing your game, if they're all playing Helldivers, what does that do? How much free advertising is that? It is the stupidest move. It is the dumbest move to not allow VTubers to play your game. It's literal free advertising. And how many people are going to buy that game because their favorite waifu plays it? it, it it's dumb. Why not? Like, why are people being, you know, copyright clucks? I don't get it. I don't get it, right? You you just let people play your game. It'll spread the popularity of it. In fact, that's why a lot of the free-to-play games became popular because they're free-to-play and because they weren't striking, right? That's why smaller games, there's a huge opportunity. If you have a cool, small game and you're willing to give that and willing to let people stream that, it can be, it can blow up. And that marketing is the best marketing. It's the best marketing. Because you're seeing somebody you like and you want to be like them. You want to play with them, right? So you go get the game. You might be, you might want to join their server, right? You want, might want to get some managed democracy. I'm just saying. Also, Power World. Yeah, Power World, same thing. You know, you might want to have some casual, some casual slavery. I mean, that, that's possible Power World, you know? Just, I mean, it's questionable. It's questionable. Is it indentured servitude, right? Like, I don't know what's going on with Power World, but, you know, there's stuff there. There's stuff there. Um, Muzzy Skeleton says, all I know is that it's going to challenge the North American entertainment industry, which may affect Disney, who is already losing viewers. Yes, yes, big time. CD Creek lawsuit, New York, New Universal theme park, and now this. Imagine one day, Muzzy, imagine the day, there will be a day where there is a VTuber theme park, or at least a VTuber experience, right? It's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Just you wait. There's going to be a v interactive V2. It may not be like a traditional theme park, but it will happen one day. Trust and believe there will be VTubers that are out there. Uh, Hollow World will happen. Like, like Disney World, Hollow World, it'll happen at some point. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you guys, like 20, 30 years from now, it's going to happen, man. Just don't, don't sleep on it. This is, what I, this is the type of thing I see. I see like, oh yeah, no, people are going to make money on this. So this is going to be, it's going to be very profitable for, and that's why it benefits those that are familiar with it and that make themselves familiar. And then also uh, understand the industry sooner than later. I think it's going to be a detriment for those that are trying to catch up with this 20 or 30 years from now, because all of a sudden they see, Oh yeah, there's a theme park going in. Well, you're, you know, you're kind of late on the bus, buddy. Um, but yeah, certainly Disney is, is tanking. Um, they're one of the reasons why it's anime is growing is because North American entertainment like Disney is shrinking. Lord Commander Argentis says, I saw the Japanese media outlet reached out to you and you responded quite well. What stuck out to me is implying that Niji Sanji is trying to silence other media outlets. Yes, uh, that is something that they said to me in the message. That is true. Um, uh, and also they did follow up with me. I want to give a quick shout out to them. That is people to yell PTY. Uh, Japan. So they did reach out to me afterwards. Now I gave them a full transcript of my, um, of my, um, full transcript of my, my interview. So what I said on the stream, I trans, it was transcribed by a awesome viewer. 
Thank you so much for sending that to me, by the way. Uh, so I did some minor edits to it, sent it over to them. So they got a written version, but they also wanted me to show you guys. They actually sent me a link that they have covered this. People, uh, people to yell has covered this at pty.jp, right? They covered this in Japanese. So there are people out there covering stuff in Japanese. They are making like, a, you know, doing a good job of covering things in Japanese. So I just want to give a shout out to people to yell. These guys are clearly uh, speaking up when uh, there's very few other voices out there speaking up in Japan, right? But they're doing a really good job and they're pretty fearless about it, which is kind of awesome. I, I really respect that uh, from them. And you can see they got a certain base Chad here, uh, legal mindset on the front page here. Uh, appreciate that uh, very, very, very much. Um, so they should have my, my written stuff uh, out very soon, uh, but really good. And honestly, I'm very happy that this information is getting out in Japan. It needs to get out in Japan. It needs to get out in all sorts of languages uh, so people know what's going on. Um, oh, also, I love this. This is the, so they also uploaded, let me show you guys here. They uploaded some presentation material. This is CoverCorp. This is their presentation materials for their subsidiary in North America. So I love this. This is like about VTuber. What is VTuber? Look at how cute this is. I love, like, it's one of those things of, like, Japanese English where it's, like, like what is VTuber? Like, this is not correct grammar, but it's adorable grammar. So we'll, I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it, you know? A VTuber is virtual entertainment, is a virtual entertainer who live streams while utilizing motion capture technology as an animated avatar. Performer, avatar, equal VTuber. IP belongs to cover. I like to have to say that. Uh, VTubers as live streamers, they attract fans through live streaming, right? And then you see the Akasupa right here, the big giant red boy in there. Uh, Hello Live Production has 86 VTubers, 86.25 million subs, and 20 million unique viewers. That is huge. That is massive. Obviously, the biggest is Hello Live. Uh, Hello Live English is doing pretty solid here. Hello Stars has got 2 million. Indonesia's got 9 million, so that's a pretty good chunk there. Uh, Hello Stars English, doing pretty solid. And Hello, what is this, Hello uh, Devs? Hello Devs? So that's doing all right as well. So I've got a lot of stuff going on there. So top tier, Gura. You've got Marine. You've got Kizuna. Oh, is that Device? Oh, Device. Thank you. Hello. Hollow Live device. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. This is why my education by chat. <laughs> uh, so the top is Guar, Gura, uh, Marine, Kizuna, Fillion. Wait, Fillion. Fillion's doing damn well. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, that's not with Hollow Live. Sorry, that's not Hollow Live. Forget that. Forget that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Pecora. Pecora, shout out to our girl. Fighting monkey, Tukusan. Shout out to Jill right there. Um, Mori Calipi, Kobo, Shirakami Fubuki, uh, Susei, and Inugami here. These are all huge channels. Look at these subs, 2 million plus. Like when your top 10 is 2 million plus, that is great. That is great. That is fantastic. So obviously killing it. Great, great stuff here. Um, and great presentation of information, really. I mean, these guys do a really good job uh, presenting themselves and really putting themselves out there in a very good way on a corporate corporate level. It's very clear, too. When I like look at this information, it's like very, very clear. Um, I will leave up. Let me just leave up this while I talk. I like to have something in the background. Okay, so I'll leave up. Oh, not that. Uh, there you go. That's cool. Okay. So let's get through these subs. Uh, Bella says, Hey, Andrew, uh, I'm here for the disclaimer. <laughs> always, always, um, still skeptical of whether they can get any personnel who don't want to sanitize the VTuber culture to purge the degeneracy by imposing no rules. It may happen, but I will tell you guys this, this is why Indies exists. This is also why phase exists. Just saying, just saying, um, th there are always going to be, there's going to be room for that. And just like with mainstream media and other media, there's going to be people that go indie or go doing their own thing because they want to push the limits. They want to push the edge. 
the 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 corporate stuff is always going to have to be a little bit more safe. And honestly, that's because they don't want to be demonetized. They don't want to lose endorsements. They don't want to lose sponsorships. It will corporate will always be more safe. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, because think about it this way. For people out there, their first access may be to cover corporation, maybe to Hololive, but then they may find other people. Maybe they find phase, maybe they find indies based on that. So maybe it's just their gateway drug is hollow. They end up looking at Vishojo. Yes, yeah, sorry, Vishojo, other people. They end up looking at other folks that have a little bit more freedom and can go a little bit uh, further. Someone says on page 44 and 45, it says they're not going to dictate content. Hold on, let me see that real quick. Okay, I will, I will read that. If you're claiming that there's a page here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay. So current system, so this is local base, current system, cover corp, Japanese market, overseas market. Supply streaming content from Japan, conduct event planning in Japan, conduct merchandise sales in Japan, provide customer services. Pursue overseas activity mainly from Japan. New system, cover corp, it's going to still supply content, right? So the content will still be coming from there, but... And Cover USA will have a direct reporting line with management and make prompt and independent decisions. Local base in California, which will do event planning, set up merchandise, engage in local sales. So that's good that Japan is still uh, keeping the uh, is still keeping the content. That will keep it a little bit more based, I guess, or at least a little bit more untainted, a little bit more wholesome, maybe. Let's say wholesome. Let's say wholesome. So, yeah, that could be a good thing. That could be a really good thing. If they're not controlling, like, exactly how things are going, if it's not, has it doesn't have a DEI requirement like Disney or Amazon or whatever else. Because, obviously, look, whether however you feel about that, that's definitely impacting the market in America. And I would suggest, and, and yes, this is my personal opinion, and yes. Hello, special department. The, my, one of my theories is that one of the problems, not the only problem, but one of the problems with American media is it's too concerned with political messaging over actual good content. But this would go around that if the content is coming from Japan and supplied primarily from Japan. It's just a theory, right? You can feel free to disagree with me if you disagree with me on that. Um, all right. Got some more chats here. DV Titan says, I don't know why they haven't made an anime series using one of the groups. They should. It's going to make so much money. Have the livers voice their character in the show. It seems a natural fit. They would just need DCV. They would need a commitment that they're going to stay for a long time. It would not be worth it to do an anime and then have that person leave. They would need them on a very long-term contract, like a five or 10-year contract, uh, to make sure that that anime pays off. Because otherwise, if they're just going to bounce after a year, that's going to be pretty difficult. Um, some people here, what, somebody said there's Hologra. Hologra? They have a short weekly anime. Hologra, hologra, hologra. Okay. See, well, apparently that super chatter didn't know about this. Now, I don't know about I don't know about these things, guys, but the super chatter is the one <laughs> didn't, apparently didn't know about that. But I guess what you're saying is more anime would be good, right? More anime would be good. Hollow gravity, hollow graffiti, hollow no graffiti. Okay. People say hologra is meh. Okay. Need to check it out. I'll need to check it out. I will check it out. It's on my list. I'm putting it right here. I'm learning more day by day, guys. It's hollow no graffiti. Okay, I will check that out. Thank you, guys. Um, from Malinjan Ringgit, says, not sure if you're aware, but if you go, oh, I did that already. Thank you so much. Uh, Turkey Slaw said, don't forget Quebecois branch because French. Oh, God. Okay, let's not even start with that. Let's not start with that. Let's call Reem over here for our Canadian stuff. All your base are belong to us. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, Quay Ziti says, or Zit says, um, emailed a link to a holiday I've read it where a user posted a translation of the press conference. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Um, I may try to pull that up a little later. Uh, Batman says, California, oof, the taxes. That's what I'm thinking. Cover USA sounds like a security company. Uh, Vishojo is based out of California and there are other smaller agencies in the US as well. Don't see any forced PC stuff in those. And look, just because you're in California doesn't mean you're forced to be PC, at least not yet, right? But uh, what it does do is place a lot of regulation on you. I'll say that. It just places a lot of regulation on you. 
there are good content creators who are based out of California who are relatively objective and good um, that are just happen to be in California. Uh, but it does place a lot of restrictions on you from a business standpoint. Are you wearing a suit on top, but no, bo but boxers? No, I'm wearing, I'm wearing pants right now, but yeah, thank you. Uh, Arsh says, if I'm not mistaken, the second quarter of the year ending in March, 2025 should be October, September, 2024. Am I doing that wrong? I mean, my, quarters, quarters would be four, 12 divided by four is three. So they said it's, it's ending in 2025, but be starting in March, 2024. So I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I reading that wrong? I don't know. Sometime in the summer, summerish. Okay. Can we just say summerish? September counts as summer. Uh, uh, race, race car lock says, Oh, on the field of VTV might be invaded by um, <clears throat> G women with the color. What? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, Hollow says Yagu comes from a corruption of the reading of his last name, Tanigo. Oh, is it Yag Yago? Yago. Tanigo. Ah, okay. So it's Yago. Okay. I'm going to have to get used to that because I'm used to the goo. Uh, using the IPA, it's Jago. Ah, okay. Jago. Okay. Uh, how does one open up for non Japanese to buy cover stock? You would need to be able to be qualified or probably have a Japanese account to buy Japanese stocks or invest in some sort of ETF or fund that buys Japanese stocks or has a bundle of assets. Uh, oftentimes on the New York Stock Exchange, they'll have foreign uh, foreign assets. They'll have like ETFs or something else that purchases a foreign asset. You're probably paying a markup for that, but, uh, but that's an indirect way to do it, right? Just like you could buy um, commodities indirectly by buying an ETF, right? So you could buy like a gold ETF or silver ETF, an oil ETF, whatever, by buying that related thing. So it's not financial advice, like the ticker says, but I'm sure there's some way for you to invest in that stock, even as an American. Uh, Texas isn't a panacea for the problem. Remember, found Funimation is Texas. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. I 100% agree. I'm just saying for, for tax purposes, they will probably end up moving at some point. I'm not talking about wokeness or PC. We're not getting political yet. We're going to get there with Scarl. It's going to get there. Um, but uh, but yeah. A million dollars, small loan. Yeah, not very large for a business. Thomas says, uh, Yago comes from a Uzara Sobaru misreading Tanigo. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, check the state of California corporate filings documents. It wasn't the one you just showed. Filing number uh, 564 uh, dated. 41123. Okay, probably gonna need to take a look at that. Let's see. Thank you for emailing me, guys. I do appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Um, and also appreciate the uh, translation that you guys got me uh, of the QA. Um, let's see. Oh, we can get this is a short QA. Okay, so let me just, I can actually show this QA. Someone sent this over from, uh, this is a Reddit post, but this is a translation of their Q&A. So let's actually show this real quick. Thank you guys for emailing me. You guys are great researchers, great paralegals, and totally not. Fighting monkey. Let me hide this one here. Um, so here's the Q&A apparently. Uh, Cover, which operates VTuber Office Hololive Productions, announces the North American base, Cover USA. It'll focus on the localized development in North America, plans to localize content, UGC, and business. The company plans to localize activities in the revenue-generating field as event promotion, product sales, while keeping the supply of content to the Japanese base. So they confirm that there. President Tanigo uh, emphasized that uh, through localization, is necessary for overseas expansion. In particular, you put out the high potential of North America. Dollars, and here's the other thing too, guys. As the yen um, goes like this, which it's going to continue that trend most likely to do this, dollars look real good to a Japanese company. A Japanese company wants to bring in as much of those good, good dollars that they can that are at a favorable exchange rate for them uh, as sort of a, a hedge there. So that's gonna that's gonna look good uh, look good uh, for them to get that revenue from North America. Uh, who are the members of the local office? 
We need to dispatch members who have been involved in the launch of a VTuber business in Japan. Um, we need to understand the local culture. For this reason, we are considering hiring locally. So they're saying it right here. They are going to hire locally. Not at 7.40 an hour. In the beginning, we will probably have a small elite group, but we are aware that the number of locally hired staff will eventually increase. What about non-English speaking? The English speaking world is very wide. Time zones are important. There's Oceania, North America, Europe. We would like to supply talent and businesses to other areas. What's the criteria for establishing a local subsidiary? Perspectives such as time zone, whether it can be covered by business trips from Japan. There it is, guys. What did I tell you? I didn't even read this. And what did I know? What was one of the things I called out right away was a consideration. I'm telling you guys, I know, I know what these guys think. What how long is the trip from the corporate headquarters? Told you. You know, once again, uh, I know I know it may seem like it, but I am not. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about here, guys. Um, whether it's possible to develop a solid business. In the U.S., communication is difficult due to the time difference, so we've decided to establish a baser. Yes, it is very difficult unless you're a D-Gen like me and you enjoy staying up late. It's very difficult to maintain U.S. hours. Very, 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 very difficult to maintain U.S. hours. What is the scale of your local base? Once started, we once there, we will start small. We would love to pinpoint people with an excellent local license sale record. So they're really focusing on sales. What is the current state of MD? We are selling cross-border through our e-commerce, but customers bear a large shipping cost. So your waifu merch is going to cost much less. We would like to solve this problem. We will eventually ex uh, sell, ex we will sell externally through anime and LA animation stores. There you go. We will also be developing apparel with licensed out products. Cool designs are popular overseas. Anime may not need localization, but we should look at VTubers having a leg. This is super based. The, the, the person who asked this question, yo, anime may not need localization. Hold on, wait a second, ding dong. Hello, based on the bottom, man. Wow, okay, I love that they, they slipped that comment in there. Um, like, don't localize the anime. Okay, okay, well, good, based interviewer. Um, we should look, this, this, by the way, this was in Japanese. So for all those out there, that think the Japanese aren't noticing, they're noticing. Oh, they're noticing. They're noticing some of the 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 stuff that's being localized and how it's not accurate. And they're 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 seeing that they're like not happy with that. Right? Translation is not localization at all. And I'm I am gonna do another episode on that. I found a really good uh, Twitter user. I, I want to see if I can interview him, but he uh, talks about translation. And what is okay to translate, what is acceptable, and what is not. So, for example, he used a great example. In um, in other languages, using the term dark knight, right? Like knight works for Batman because he is both a, a you know creature of the night, right? Bat, and also knight, like a jassy knight. But that double meaning isn't the same in other languages. So you have to come up with something different, and that makes sense, right? But changing something to mean something completely else. Like, for example, if the word was like, wow, that outfit looks great, and then you change it to, wow, that outfit is a result of the patriarchy, that's not the same thing, right? That's a different translation. So anyways, but we should look at VTubers having a language barrier or technology can solve the problem. Uh, or is there a possibility that Japanese VTubers will sell overseas? The first premise is anime is also localized. We would like to separate the localization of distributed content from the expansion of sales through our local offices we have announced. Even for anime content, it is essential to do so with local partners. Crunchyroll, for example, uh, distribution is through uh, Hololive, and the con video content such as 3D animations and official programs are translated. Also, distribution talent is delivered in their native language. I think that English-speaking people tend to go see uh, go see EN more easily. We are aware of the multilingual localization of live broadcasts may be possible in the future. Yeah, so as technology advances, you may be able to we may be able to get like on the spot live translated stuff.
that is just like almost simultaneously going out in English as it is in Japan. Um, that would be very interesting. Definitely, definitely an interesting, uh, interesting change there. I am going to look through this document more, guys. So if I see more uh, in this document, I will get into it. I don't want to spend too much time on it, though, because we've got a whole back half of the show here. But thank you so much for forwarding these documents to me, guys. You've been absolutely fantastic. Um, let me get through a couple more of these. Interactive VTuber theme park. If that's just VR chat. That's true. That's true. I know chat doesn't want to leave the leave the house. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. No touching grass here. Andrew Clark says it should just be. It could be because Nintendo is obsessed with controlling their image and might not like the casual, derogatory, or degenerate conversations of a live. That's true. That could be a reason, Andrew. Grossahan says I'm afraid of a VTuber agency run by Disney. So am I. Ishal, uh, Ishal. Uh, Cry Crab, uh, Cry Cabot says, can't wait for the Disney stockholders vote. Also this week, the Niji Sanji, apparently Niji Sanji had a, uh, had a earnings meeting this week. I don't know whether it already happened yet. I got to look it up. Let's see. Actually, let's, let me look it up real quick. Niji Sanji earnings meeting. I think it's like March 15th. So that's like in two days. Three days. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, that's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> oh, imagine that meeting. Oh, that meeting is going to be so uncomfortable. That meeting is going to be so uncomfortable. Oh, boy. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, oh, yeah, here you go. And now let me just show you guys. This is um, the Any Color Ink right here. March 15th, announcement of financial results, fiscal year. What they're trying to do right now is pump the stock. They're trying to pump the stock uh, with options trading before they have to announce that. So I know it's been like on the back upward swing. But, uh, but yeah, it's still down. It's still down big time. If you guys want to check this out. Let me show you guys. It's still down like this is down like a lot. Let's go any color stock, six months or like year to date. Look at this. They're even with the pump from options trading, they're still up to uh 3,300 yen from a top of like 3,800, 3,700. So they're still down, especially look at six months. Like, look at this, like from like really 3,800 all the way down here. So that's a significant cut, guys. They're still down. 4% for the last six months, even like the last month they're up, right? Compared to the, where they were before, but that's because they were down so badly. They were down so badly. Right now they're up 4%, but that's on the month. You always got to zoom out with these things, look at them in perspective and like, look at the fact that they're at a, they're essentially at the same price they were at, I don't know, uh, years ago. So, you know, a year ago, even five years ago, right? They kind of been floating like a turd in a pond. You know, I mean, they had a, they had, pretty much the same numbers 3300 in 2022 so you always got to zoom out with this stuff puts it in perspective no that's not a pretty chart it's not a pretty chart at all it makes you wonder where's that money going um kayo matsuda says it's written Mo motakai tanigo which means ya uh, yago pronounced as yagot the t is silent oh yagoa yago yago whatever okay um, DJ Alexander says, I can see that Yago and Sora statue at the park entrance. That'd be cute. Hypnotic and Rapture says, insufferable sweet baby types will insidiously infest cover LA. It's only a matter of time. Uh, I don't know about that. Not if it's coming from Japan. M Mugboy says, uh, becomes a member. Thank you. Welcome as a member. Uh, now I'm lagging for no reason. We got lag for no reason. Any colors lagging me, guys? Let's see here. Ainander for 20 says, I posted a good hologram episode in the VTuber channel of your Discord. It's less than two minutes and no words spoken. So I will try to get to that, especially towards the end. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, uh, Einhander. Let me get to that if I can. I got it, got it, got it. Uh, let me get to that a little bit later but looks good in terms of length. Thank you so much, my friend. Looks good, looks good. Got it all loaded up. Cool. Oh, wait, now it's playing. 
<laughs> it's like I, I put it on positive plays. Okay, cool. Uh, Nate says, would DEI have any influence on a foreign prone group uh, to Yuri bait? Hollow Live already likes to open the door wide to anyone. Um, I don't know because look, the thing is, and I'll just say this, guys, I don't mean to be, once again, this is just me commenting on a particular trend here, but I think DEI doesn't really work outside the Western world because trying to push certain narratives doesn't really stick in Japan or Korea because they don't, or, or the East, because they're largely homogenous societies. So when you try to say, well, you have a problem with X issue that's a Western issue, that just doesn't work and they don't buy it really. So it's it's just something that's not there. Now they'll do lip service for things like environmentalism, uh, things like general rights, right? But uh, it's just not gonna stick in the same way. Uh, it's, it's not gonna work. And anybody who's lived here will know that. Um, it's just something that is not, it doesn't resonate uh, broadly. It just isn't a thing. Um, and it will never be a thing to the same level or extent. And people are very aware of the effect it's had on American corporations. I'll say that. Max says, green to the only lawyer I like. Wow. Okay. I have a question. Do you know anything about YouTube erasing comments from existence that don't align with PC rules? Yes, they do do that sometimes. They do block comments. They do scrub things. It's very much true. They also unsubscribe people. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. P2Y already published your interview. Oh, cool. Awesome. The first glance at it is what you said on the stream. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Tangrat. Fizzy Bomb says, if there's a market, some will utilize it. And there's no problem with that. Uh, Corpo SC. Uh, thank you. Uh, Tinkerin says, here's the, we have anime and home version that is hologra, very unhinged. Okay, I need to watch this. It's hologra stuff. Okay, I will, this is, wait, is this, is this Billy Billy? Can I even show this? Like, if I stream this, I'm going to block it in America if it's on Billy Billy. I don't even know. Uh, Because, like, obviously in Asia, we have access to certain things you guys don't. Let me watch this offline and then get back to you on Hologra. Let me, let me do that my own research, my research. Um, would you be corporate counsel for Hololive? Yes, but here's the thing. I think I'm a better resource for all of you. Oh, it's on YouTube too? Okay, thanks, guys. Um, yeah. So I think I'm a better resource for everybody, particularly for indies, if I'm not representing a corporation, because if I represent Hololive, I have a certain duty to them, right? So I have to, I have to respect those duties to them uh, in terms of, uh, you know, following their rules, following their regulations, you know, restrictions. So, and also if they tell me something, I have to keep it confidential. So going in for Hololive, or being their corporate counsel might not be the best thing for my covering issues uh, on YouTube. Now, I would love to do it though. I think it'd be personally fun, and probably I would I would talk to them about my ability to do YouTube as well and my independence and my independence of my coverage. Right. So I, I would hate to not be able to cover issues because who else is going to cover them? Right. Like who else is going to cover them? I'd rather be neutral or like a contractor. Which I say, if I'm a contractor, then they can't really silence my speech right? Because I'm an independent contractor. As long as I'm not revealing anything about that project. So, you know, that's just something to put out there. Um, but yeah, I consider it. Would DEI have an influence? Oh, we already got that one. Okay. So boom, boom. Uh, for reference, IPA, J is yes. And D3 is yay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, Drunken Finn says, by the way, any color stock has gone from 340 yen to 335 because of options trading, I believe. I'm not a financial expert, but that's after they started options trading. Atobi says, hoping for an EU expansion in the future. Maybe. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to be mean, Toby, but there's a lot of right, there's even more regulation. California looks like a picnic compared to the EU in terms of regulation. And on top of that, Europe is complicated because there's so many languages. So what language do you go in on for Europe? French, German, um, Spanish. I mean, if it's Spanish, you can just do that from like a Latin American, North American branch uh, and then like capture Spain there. Um, Italian, like R R Romanian, Polish, like the, the EU is much more complicated and there's much more requirements with the EU. So it's very, very difficult. And that's why, frankly, a lot of companies, when they consider opening an EU branch, they don't do it. Um, they operate their operations from other countries. Uh, impact equal negligible. Yeah. Uh, just got home now from a fun night shift. What'd I miss? What's up, Shadow? Good to see you, bro. Uh, Hypnotic says, cover goods sold at 
Kinokun uh Kinokuniya America bookstores based in Epic. Let's bloody go. Oh yeah, there's a Kino uh there's a Kinokuniya in um in Bangkok here at the uh M Emporium, Emporium or M Quarter uh, mall. Very nice. A future anime town or a mini Akihabara in Cali. Take my money. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it would do just a weebville. It, it will kill. If they do a theme park of all just anime or VTuber IPs, and it can even be this. Look, do it this way. Make it anime IPs, but the VTubers rotate. Like the VTuber content rotates. That might be a thing. Speaking about voice translations, Hollow ID's second gen released a song you can listen to in Japanese or uh, ID, I think Indonesian, which is cool. Uh, name is Slap slap by step i think you mean step by step slap by step will be interesting poetic justice eminent maybe march 15th equal the ides of march no oh i didn't even think about that icebergs are a negligible threat famous last words and then cover stock is up six percent due to the cover us announcement so any color stock rising maybe due to association correlation true in the market they talked about how the market is growing so that could be a thing also, Hologra has traditional Japanese humor that we see as nonsensical or absurd. I absolutely love it, though. Hey, if you love it, that's great. That's great. It's kind of nonsensical. It really is nonsensical a lot of times, the Japanese humor. I mean, I watched one the other day of a guy who, like, took the time to camouflage himself and blend in with a roof so he could scare a woman. It was pretty hilarious. It's pretty hilarious. Um, all right. So before we go on here and talk about any more, let me just say one thing, too. Um, this is something that Niji Sanji Ien has to look look at and look to and say, we could have been doing this if we weren't embroiled in this scandal. We could have been going this direction. We chose to instead go this other path. Um, yeah, they could be doing it right, but instead they're screwing up. And we're going to get into their screw-ups uh, here as well. But before we do that, I think I need to play this Hololive Ian Audition CM. This is from like... I think years ago, three years ago, uh, this is obviously Kiryu Koko. Uh, let me just drop this one here for you guys to enjoy. Let me put it full screen here. And. Hey, bitch. This is Ko Cocaine from Hollow Fucking Life USA. I have an important announcement, so shut the fuck up and listen. What are you looking at? The following advertisement is intended for EN VTubers applicants only. It's V! Hololive Audition! We're giving you avatars! It's V! We're giving you support! It's Hololive Audition! It's a V chance for you, friend! It's a VTuber Audition! You gotta make a five-minute video, but the chance is V! Chances to go viral, no joke! It's V! You unlock the door to your V chance, we got you the avatar! There are unlimited chances, it's V! We've got your back! We're not carrying this around all day! It's for you to use! VTuber Audition! I'm gonna pee in my pants! Friend, come get your damn chance! It's a V chance! Friend, you got Hololive Audition! Friend, does it get better than this? Friend, the avatar is V! Friend, the avatar is V! It's a V tuber! It's V tuber Hololive. Isn't this what you wanted? Wow, what are they? Are they subtitles? Okay, I'll stop it there. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with that one at the end, but yeah, that was highly recommended for tonight by several people on Twitter. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for that recommendation, guys. You guys always come through with the memes. Always come through. All right. Oh, and this last one here, uh, A to B says cover having their office in the US. Does this mean it'll be easier for them to pursue a lawsuit with slander defamation of their talent? Yes. It'll go both ways. So it'll be easier to litigate against them and be easier to litigate um for them to litigate right so it'll go both ways so it will make it easier for them to sue and be sued which i think is a good thing and and i don't think they're going to be suing as much of their livers i i don't think that's a good look i think cover has generally refrained from that um so i i don't i don't imagine they're all of a sudden going to change their policy and become uber uber litigious right 
uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to things. So yeah, I wouldn't imagine they're going to change their like litigation strategy or tactic. Um, cover is really getting those W Niji sisters blaming Hollow Life for their downfall. How much money has it caused them? Also opening up in the USA W, and it's just this is part of it. Part of it is Niji keeps taking L's, and we're going to talk about this Scarl stuff today. So first, I want to get the facts right. And we're also going to talk about the Scarl situation in context of the contract. Oh, don't you? Oh, don't you think I forgot about the contract, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I've got that bad boy pulled up right here. Let me, let me, right here. We got it right here, right? Got the contract right here, the standard Niji Sanji Ian contract, because that's going to come into play, right? When we talk about what they can and can't do and how that might have played out. Okay, if you was Scarly, Scarly, she's Australian, right? Scar, Scarly, Scarly. She's Australian, right? I think it's like a S Australian pronunciation. Scarlet, Scarlet, Parlay, Scarlet. Okay, Scarlet, lay, lay. I did it with a hand flourish, right? The hand flourish goes. She's American. She's Mexican. She's half Mexican, American, Filipina, Latina. You guys are giving me like, you guys are giving me like six different. Okay. Half Mexican, half Filipino. Oh, that's like super base combo there. Aggressively Latina. Okay. Friend in names. I'm going to throw in the chat. Friend. Forget that. But you guys are going to try to troll me in the chat. Oh, God. And then, of course, we got the, well, hold on. We got the, we got the mandatory, we got the mandatory thirst here. What's up, Super Dragon? Appreciate you, bro. I'm not going to judge your thirst. I mean, some people may think it's, disgusting that i'm okay with it okay i allow it we allow it here on legal mindset um so let's get into this controversy so there was this controversy actually didn't start with um scarlet or it started with um a different vtuber uh, and I think this was Albin. So I'm going to use for the background as I am wanting to do, although I'm going to go to Kyo as well. Uh, False had a good video on this. As always, False does a very good job kind of uh, giving an objective. So I just want to give the intro to this first part, um, and then we'll give a little bit of analysis in terms of the Albin stuff and then moving over to the Scarlet stuff. So we're going to do an analysis for both. Once again, we're starting with the very, very, very basic facts. Okay. They're sorry. As 12 days ago, we checked in with Niji Sanji English's Albin Knox, who had replied to an animated meme from the McDonald's Japan account, only to be told from numerous fans, Hi Albin, please do not support McDonald's, for they are currently on the BDS list of companies to boycott. This list including consumer targets, divestment and exclusion targets, pressure targets, and quote-unquote organic targets. Albin Knox eventually going on to delete that McDonald's Japan quote retweet. As before all that, a Vanta Crowbringer fan had posted this photo, placing his puppet next to a Starbucks cup. Vanta replying, how do I order this? Originally receiving this reply, come to Japan in the spring because it's a limited edition spring drink from Starbucks in Japan. And while this Nijisanji English talent would go to Japan, but he would not go to Starbucks. As numerous fans would reply to Vanta's question with this graphic, informing him of an ongoing boycott against Starbucks. Vanta Crowbringer acknowledging this and saying, ah, I apologize for my ignorance. Thank you for informing me. And now... Okay, so that was the first wave, right? Um, and, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but McDonald's Japan has put out some uh, very interesting and good stuff. And I don't know why a lot of this has been controversial, right? I get, I get that context, but like, like, come on, like, how can you really hate on, how can you really hate on this? Like, this is just cute. Look at this. It's adorable. Super adorable. I'm going to kill the, the sound so I don't get copyright struck. But, like, this is just adorable. Like, how can you hate on this? Like, based in, like, cat girl pills. Like, come on. Um. So, and there was another one that was controversial. There was one with, like, a family back in the day. I retweeted this that people were getting angry about. And then tweeting in response, uh, and this is the, it's just cute. It's just cute, right? McDonald's Japan does some excellent advertising, some like really good advertising. Um, and so they were amongst the companies that was put on this list. Now I have the blown up version 
uh, like the version that's better. This is like a shitty, a shitty re uh, resolution version. But to show you, it was posted by Archie Angel. Not sure if you're aware, but they actively support a uh, bad war crime thing. Um, does uh, and so do these. And so do these other things, right? So, yeah, and he deleted his tweet, right? This only got 1,000 views and 58 likes, right? And with five comments, right? So, once again, this is not in a massive amount of viewership. This is actually kind of a small relative amount, particularly for something that is news. Um, just want to point that out. Um, and then just want to point out the rest of this list. Let me just drag this to the front. So this is a better resolution version of this. Now, I'm not going to focus on this right away. We're going to come back to this kind of a couple times during the stream. Um, so, but just just please note all of the companies on here. Uh, this list includes things like Hyundai, Intel, JCB, Volvo, Cat, right? Caterpillar, Barclays Bank, Chevron, Texaco. Caltech, HP, Puma, Siemens, Remax, Google, Amazon, Expedia, Disney, TV, Airbnb, Booking, McDonald's, Domino's, Pizza, Papa John's, Burger King, and Wix, right? Wix. So we're going to get back to these later, right? But um, I just want to I just want to continue this video here. Hold on. Let's, let's continue this video. Um, you know, while I sip on my, oh, wait, it's not actually Starbucks coffee, guys. This is not coffee. It's actually a local cafe, you know, because Starbucks coffee is really, is really bad. And I would never, never want to support any, any naughty corporation that ever does anything naughty. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, stream the rest of this here real quick. And, um, you know, I'm just going to sit back and relax over here for a second uh, while we, uh, while we play this video on the Scarly part. Less than two weeks later, we turn to Niji Sanji English's Scarla Yunaguni, who has also taken a trip to Japan, taking part in off collaborations with other Niji Sanji English livers, while last night running a stream entitled I Try Every Cake at Starbucks Japan. That stream receiving backlash while it was still ongoing, with one viewer making Scarla aware of this during the stream, and she would respond with this. I don't know, bro. Please keep your politics out of my chat i'm gonna time you out i don't know bro don't breathe i'm just enjoying my time in japan okay fuck off with that okay keep the rules keep your politics out of my chat this is for fun why are you ruining the fun why are you killing the vibe fuck off take that somewhere else thanks thank you i already fuck off with that shit, dude fuck off with that if you're gonna bring up shit that I'm, why? Why are you killing the vibe and breaking my rules? Some users pointing out. So let's, let's do this real quick. So that, by the way, very base response, right? And by the way, it isn't about politics. It isn't about politics at all. This is about, this is about the way in which you handle enforcement of rules from a professional level. If you have established a boundary or a rule, no matter what the woke people say, right? No matter what they say, uh, you you can't you can't modify that rule. I really want to try. I I got the I got the the, the like the shaking fries, but I have not tried these yet. I'm gonna try them afterwards. But anyways, um, yeah, you 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 can't bend those rules. And if you look at her rules, so I, I went to look at this uh, on her channel, um. This is not sponsored by McDonald's. This is not sponsored by McDonald's or any anime waifus, really. Um, that said, the rules are pretty clear. Like, this is her channel right here. I just went to her last one, uh, Scarlet uh, Yanaguni from Niji Sanji, right? Uh, her last stream. So if you look here, it's very clear in the rules. Let's, let's look right here. All right, let me pull that out. Do not mention numbers. You will be timed out. No discussions or comments about politics or drama or doxing. It's clear. It's on her freaking, uh, it, it's like very, very clear. So you've got, 
like you've 100 got like a warning here that she said no politics if you have set a boundary there is never a problem enforcing a boundary this is not a unreasonable boundary to say no politics drama or doxing if you've set that rule like for example i have a rule in my chat uh, and that rule is don't spam. If you are spamming the same thing, you're going to get a timeout and then you're going to get a ban. Or you might just get a ban if it's bad enough. Also, like, don't say anything. It's going to break TOS and don't try to, yeah, don't try to dox people, right? That's obvious, right? Don't attack a guest, like, in a, in a way that is, like, unreasonable and not, like, addressing their point. It's just calling them names or whatever else. And you're just attacking them for no reason. Yeah, you're going to catch a timeout. You're going to get banned for that, right? Those are rules. And there's never a problem enforcing a rule. And there's a reason for that. When people watch, they don't necessarily want to talk about these things. So if you've established that you are keeping your space as a place free of politics, drama, or doxing, that's a rule. It's an established rule. Uh, if I see a comment, it will be removed. You'll be timed out. So she even told you what she's going to do. She said she's going to time you out, and she did it, right? If there's a dono super chat, I will thank you for the dono, but I will not read it. That's nice. A lot of times if I see a dono and it's a baiting dono and it's just a, a dono that's trying to get me to say something that's wildly inappropriate, then and I don't want to read it, then I won't read it, right? It's it's stupid. Don't send the super chat, right? Be mindful, no spamming, blah, 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 no trauma dumping, right? Do not bring other livers unless I bring them up first. That involves shipping, right? Don't bring me up in another livers chat. Stay on topic. Don't be rude or mean. Let's have fun. Like, so she's got rules. So for me, from a professional standpoint, if you've established a rule, you need to enforce your rule. And to me, that was a very reasonable enforcement of a rule. Live reaction of shake fries. You want me to do this live? Okay, I'll try to do it. I have to like, I have to like dump this in here though. That's the that's the 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 important thing. I got to dump it in there. Okay, I'll answer the next one while I'm like setting this up. Okay, Professor Knox says Scarlett accidentally misspelled her name. She wanted on her application. She originally wanted to be known as Scarlett. She admitted that and stuck to it regardless. That is based. That's actually pretty based. That like regardless of a, a mess up, she stuck to the she stuck with it and she committed to it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let me get this in here. Right. Maybe hopefully it doesn't make a mess. Oh wow, that's like super truffly. I can already smell the truffles from here. Okay, it's gonna happen. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We're gonna we're gonna shake the forbidden fries, guys. These are the naughty, the naughty war crime fries, guys. We're doing it right now live. Okay. Okay. Here's, oh, it smells so strong. It's, the truffle smell is like so strong, guys. Okay. There we go. You got it live. You got it. Got it live. Got it live, guys. That's what we do here. Do it live, live on legal mindset. Um, they believe it's not political, but I argue that middle, middle military conflict is political in nature. They broke scholars. Well, yes, it is, and it's political because there's two sides to that argument. Regardless of whether you think the other argument is a is a good one or not, regardless of whether you think, oh, all the evidence is on one side. Okay, but if somebody's arguing it, it's a political thing. It's something that people are pushing for in you know congresses and governments around the world that's political it's inherently political the position that you're taking is political it's not adopted by every country every corporation every individual it's not unanimous it's not something that is agreed on by everybody it's not consensual uh, like everybody would consent to that there's certainly people that would say no that's not right you can argue whether they are right or wrong but that is the essence of a political issue um even coming to that conclusion is a political issue also, once again, it, the point is trying to create a fun atmosphere. Beyond that, is it a fun atmosphere to mention stuff like that, to mention, you know, oh, we're just going to talk casual war crimes here? No, that's not a fun atmosphere, right? And if that's what you're trying to create, right, I'm sorry. Yes, and now we have some war fries. Let me let me see how good my war, war crime fries taste, if these are actually good or not. I'm actually a little worried it may be like too truffly. Oh, my God, the smell is so strong, guys. I'm going to be honest right now. Oh, it's really good. It's kind of cheesy, though. Pretty cheesy. But they're actually pretty good. Pretty good. I got to heat them up because, obviously, I've been streaming, so a little cold. But the work crime fries are pretty good. Not going to lie. A plus. Would, do, would, would order again. Would order again. 
Um, I'm gonna make a war cry and fry this emoji. Um, sorry, and the guys, this is where we get hello, special department. Just saying. Um, speaking of uh, Kiryu Koko, she recently met with Hollow Live Talents for three years. Oh, that's cool, it's really cool. Uh, apparently, boycotting companies will help them solve their issues. Boycott Starbucks, McDonald's will help how? Boycott Google by using YouTube. Oh, we're going to get there. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay. So let's get the basic facts on what happened with Scarlet. So we got that one. Um, now we've got more information. So what happened after that? Right? Let's play this. Out her rules, which say do not mention numbers. If you do, you will be timed out, along with no discussions or comments about politics, drama, or doxing speculations. If I see it as a comment, it will be removed and you will be timed out. If it is a dono slash super chat, I will thank you for the dono, but I will not read the message. Users on Twitter reacting with I'm disappointed, even after two of her co-workers were already informed too. Alongside this direct at, I'm not doing this anymore. I refuse to stay silent. Scarlett Unaguni, you need to know that your fans are informing you about the boycott. Yet your response is get your politics out of here and you're ruining the vibe. There's a genocide going on. I want to point out something. This is something very important. A lot of these comments, a lot of these comments be understand they have very little to no likes or retweets. A lot of these things are, are stuff where like nobody liked these comments. So just understand that I think that these views are definitely in the minority and these people a lot of times are folks that don't even watch the, the content of that creator. They just may have seen a clip and they are reacting to that clip even though they don't follow that creator. So one important thing is that number one, these, these are not getting that much traction, especially compared to the counter tweets. Oftentimes they're ratioed. So these people often, to me, they look like they may not even be fans, is what I'm trying to say. If you have the chance to see this, apologize from what you've responded. Listen to what your fans are informing you, yet you chose to ignore it. Unless you're uneducated, you still have the time to delete the VOD, but because this is your first time in Japan, you chose to. Go to Japan McDonald's and Starbucks. Ivanta and By the way, just so you guys know, like in case you don't know, uh, I mean, the fries are, are mainly the same. Tastes much the same, but if you ever go to Asia, you need to go to the the. I think the McDonald's is actually really cool to go to, especially for the mozzarella sticks. If you're in Korea, they're so good. The ones here are so good in Thailand, Japan as well. It's it's different. It hits different. They got different products. We actually have something in Thailand. We have a Mick uh, Patongo, Patongo. I can't pronounce it correctly, but it's like a pastry with condensed milk. It's so good. It's super good. There's porridge. We got fried chicken, guys. We have fried. In fact, I think I ordered some uh, for later. We have fried chicken at McDonald's, okay? We've got a bunch of stuff, and it actually tastes good. It's actually not garbage. So, yeah, there's a reason why you go there because it's only available there, right? It's only available one place if you like it. If you don't like it, whatever, right? If you don't like it, whatever. It's fine. It's your choice, right? I support you doing whatever you want to do, but I will say it is different. It does hit different. Hachi, welcome as a new member. Thank you. Uh, also, I'll get this one for 20, which says, Twatter freaks are clinically insane. There is no uh, law uh, a folk demanding someone. Um, there's no law that demands someone to participate or support a boycott. Neither does it give anyone the right to harass them in response. Yes. And especially if they're breaking the rules. In fact, that harassment may actually end up being, in some cases, excuse me, even uh, illegal, right? Depending on how they're harassing them, depending on what they're doing. Uh, that could even be impermissible because they're forcing them and silencing them uh, and silencing their speech. So there's like ways in which that can even be a problem, uh, depending on who's telling them to do it, what's going on. There's a lot of potential uh, potential questions there. Let's just say it that way. And then Zen says, the person who started the whole issue on Twitter is 13. Yes, they were a minor. So one of the people that started the first post is a minor. Yes. Uh, tell me about your views developed through rich life experience, child. Enjoys Big Mac and Caramel Macchiato. 99% of modern commerce supports atrocity cope. Yeah, and once again, it was a, it was a child. I believe it was like a, a like a, a child that, you know, is a mi like a minor that hasn't even left the country and doesn't know anything and doesn't do anything. Like it's somebody who doesn't have life experience. Um, and I think that was pretty much confirmed. But let's continue with this. 
Now, Albin are informed about the boycott, so can you, Scarla. If you have time, I want to hear your apologies and your response after the stream. You do know there is a side going on. Other reactions such as, to be honest, Scarla absolutely deserved the smoke she got for this. Like, even outside of the fact that Starbucks has been embroiled in scandals the last two years, if you wanted to not get pushed back on takes, you should just avoid products that will get you that. It's branding 101. This person is an idiot and has never worked in... This person is an idiot and has never worked in PR. By the way, we are going to examine a post that critiques these people and, and talks about these guys and, and their fans and their view on PR. This is stupid. This is stupid. These people that are literal children do not understand PR, do not understand whatever is going on here, but that has nothing to do with it at all. In fact, sometimes if you do something uh, and you take a stand and you push back, that can actually be better PR, right? So actually standing up to these people can actually be better PR for you by being like, no, I'm not going to be moved by these people. I have principles, right? And I have rules and I'm going to stand my line and I'm going to defend against it. Um, let's continue. Further, we have, I'm gonna need the livers or any big VTuber to realize that just because your fans love you, that don't mean you can't be criticized or called out. It's not canceling or being attacked. You're being either educated or held accountable. But how you respond to it is up to you. I love that now that the word canceling, now that people have pushed back against the word canceling, they're trying to rebrand it as education, right? Maybe re-education. Maybe like push them into a re-educational camp. I don't know. Uh, but saying, oh, it's accountability. No, you're you're trying to tell them to stop. You're harassing them to stop when they said, when they clearly do not know, right? If you want to educate somebody, you know how they, ed you know how you educate somebody? Privately. You send them an email. You send them a DM. You send them a comment, right? You don't, you don't actually call somebody out and do it in public and demand they change and demand they apologize. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Right? Ooh. And if your immediate reaction to getting educated on something is to shut it down and close your ears, then don't be surprised if your supporters become disappointed in you. We also have, I just saw the video, effing hell. I'm so mad right now for Scarlett to be dismissive. Once again, another comment with no likes or no, so just like one that does nothing on it like that wow i don't normally pray for people's downfall i'm not like that however yeah she can burn in hell for real for real scarla would go on to address the backlash on her next stream here go ahead and address it yes i see it i'm terribly sorry okay i'll address it really quick i didn't think anything of it at the time uh, okay i'm terribly sorry i didn't think of like I, I wasn't thinking okay honey and I'm not very aware of like what's going on I know it sounds very arrogant and I'm terribly sorry um I won't be doing this again I'm gonna cut the VOD I'm terribly sorry okay I will educate myself and I will never do this again I'm terribly sorry I quickly did like a quick look through and I was like oh, okay I didn't think it was an issue, or I just didn't know this was a part of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just educating myself, and don't worry. I'll cut the VOD, and I'm terribly sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Some of those very sick. Okay, real quick. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that apology. Let's talk about that apology real quick. So, first of all, never apologize. Rule number one, never ever if you have a rule and you're enforcing rule never apologize because the apology does not work so in this case the apology definitely did not work because the person that uh ended up uh making that post ended up saying afterwards oh well i'm still not going to follow it because she had to do better right she had to do better and then even further the most hilarious part is the the kid who started this um, the one who, who really, you know, cooked up this whole thing. Uh, this kid went out here and he woke up and he's like, well, I woke up and why am I being harassed? Right? Well, maybe it's because you started with stuff like this, right? That, that calling her fucking disgusting and nasty. So you started harassing her and then you scream and cry when you get pushed back. Right? 
by the way, the ratio on this was huge. Like the comments on this were huge. So it's just, it's absolutely hilarious. But yeah, that person who ended up even making the comment is like, yeah, even after the apology, well, you know, I'm still not going to watch it. So it was a person who wasn't even a watcher, wasn't even a person who was going to watch her. And your apology is not going to bring them back. It's not going to get them to like you. The people that support you will support you. They will support you through the issues, right? And look, I, I actually, I tend to believe that Scarlett probably had the same mentality. But one thing I'm concerned about is that she was forced by Niji Sanji. because. Guys, do not forget. Remember I said the contract's coming in? Guys, remember the contract? Remember the contract? Remember, remember the contract? What do we have to do here in the contract, ladies and gentlemen? We have to perform the social media disseminating. Well, my, 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 what does that mean? Well, that means if you go back up, right? You have to blog, tweet, write, or otherwise disseminate information on the character on social media. So any sort of thing they can get you to say, anything they can make you say, right? They can make you say. So if you need to give a statement, they can make you give a statement. They can force you to do any of this. If you refuse, right? They can cut your country. And also they can make you think and do and do even other things that are related to that. But they can certainly make you make statements, also conduct press conferences, perform, etc. So they can make you make statements and they can make you apologize. So that is something 100% that they can do. Now, what I, what I think they might have done, too, is said, well, what you said could be referred to, and I'm going to go down here to the, the prohibited section, right? They could say, well, this could hurt Niji Sanji. This could hurt Niji Sanji's, uh, and let's go down here to prohibited actions, right, in the contract. So you guys see this, right? This can hurt our rights of honor. This could be perceived as discriminatory. This could be perceived as hate speech, right? This could be something that causes trouble or discomfort for a third party. So because of that, we're going to force you, we're going to force you to do this. It is fully within their power under this contract, assuming she signed a similar contract. Yeah, it is a Bible because you can just go back and you can find, oh, yeah, they can force her to do this. And what happens if she doesn't do this? Oh, she's fired and she loses her money, right? She has to forfeit her last paycheck, which they're always paying her a month behind. Once again, going back to that other provision right here, this is the one where, like, if she doesn't do it, right, what happens? What happens? She has to, she has to pay a penalty right, of the total amount consideration, right, the total amount. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, and I think this is a big this is a big issue. It's a big question here for this. It's like, was this forced by Niji Sanji? And frankly, I can't say no. I can't say yes. I cannot say 100%. But could it be yes? Could it be yes? Mazova Palma for 20. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate this for the channel. Thank you so much for those donos. Guys, thank you. Uh, thank Masrova Palma for hooking up. And then also, before noon, for another 20. Thank you so much, guys. 20 and 20. You guys are absolutely giga chad status today. Appreciate you very much. Uh, let's get this from Zako Person. says, guys, I refuse to stay silent anymore. I'm jealous of legal mindset because I want to try the fries and local specialties. I hope he knows he wronged me in chat and I refuse to stay silent. Zako, can I time you out? Where are you at in the chat? Can I time you out real quick? Let me time you out. I time out my mods. That's how that's I'm like kind of abusive. Like I'll time out my mods every once in a while. Just so they know, like, just so we establish dominance. You know, it's like a it's like a dominance display. 
it's like listen i know you i know you think you're cool because you're a mod but like we have to we have to time you out a little bit you know i don't think i've timed out professional gentlemen yet you gotta you gotta feel a timeout <laughs> Just, just so they know. Just so they know. <laughs> oh god, it's hilarious. Yeah, poor Don. Don's been timed out like 19 times. <laughs> it's like crazy. All right. So let's continue. Let me get a couple more of these supers and then we'll go on. Um, Hotel Eight says not related, but false side video. She can burn. You show it 2309, like 20 seconds. You want to shout out one of the other ones, a horse VTuber? 2309. A horse feed is it Rima? I think it's Rima, probably. Yeah, it's Rima, I think. Uh, but anyways, I will uh, I will check that out. I will check that out. <laughs> Super, Supernova Bombastic says the real controversy should be about how I was exposed to the unfiltered thoughts of a child on my Twitter feed without my consent. It's true, it's true. Like some of the Twitter arguments, they just they make you stupider. You are stupider for reading the Twitter arguments and for people reacting to them, which don't do it, guys. Twitter is a small fraction of people. And look, I have people. I have people that try to email me and look, I will read your email. I will respect your email. But understand, if you're asking me to change the way I do things or change my beliefs, it is very hard for you to do that. And that's probably not going to happen. Now, if you ask me very respectfully and I get a lot of emails and people are all asking me respectfully and you've been a viewer for a long time, maybe. But if you're a tourist, if you're someone that really isn't donating, supporting me, you're someone that is just like visiting and maybe I, I haven't even seen you in the chat, right? I'm not really going to listen to you when you say, well, could you be a little less based? I'm like, no, probably not, right? Probably not. It's probably going to be a no, right? But if, if you said, look, hey, can you take a look at this issue? I, I don't think you've looked at it. I'll look at it, right? I'll consider it. I'll give it a good faith uh, consideration. Sigrun says, uh, unrelated to the subject, but but about Japanese argument uh, advertisements, one of the best advertising campaigns was the Long Long Man, which is an entire soap opera condensed into six minutes adverts of gummy candy. Wow. I'll have to look that up. Long Long Man. Very good. Japanese adverts can be kind of crazy, but that's why we love them. Chaos says, um, how... Funny how on these how those on X say don't support blah, but they're literally sitting at home in the comfort of the safety of their home, shouting boycott, 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 while sipping craft made coffee. I actually find that ironic. I gotta actually sip some coffee here today so I don't hmm, get too tired. It's been a long couple of days. I wasn't feeling that well yesterday, guys. So and I'm like recovering a little bit. Um. Oh, got that one. So thank you for that. And let me get one more and then we'll continue. Uh, from Cuddy Trickster says, I have news for these kids. There are people like me who are so burned out uh, about the Middle East that we lack for a better term. Uh, we've been blackpilled. Yeah. And, and some people just don't want to hear about it, right? It's an issue they don't want to talk about. They don't want to hear about. And they have a right to not be forced to hear about it on their favorite show, especially if the rules of the show are no politics, no drama. Keep it fun. And you're coming in here with your black pill like stuff that that frankly, look, if people want to research it, that's their right. Stop trying to force them. I'm against forcing people to do things. By the way, even if you believe these things, the worst way to convince somebody is by trying to force them. It does not work. That's a poor tactic psychologically to try to force somebody. It is better, and I think Rima said this, Rima Evenstar, my uh, favorite horse, horse uh, content creator, VTuber. Um, she was saying it's it's better to concede points to them and agree, but then try to point out one or two things that you disagree on, right? So it's better to seek agreement and then try to point out one or two things where you think differently. That is going to go much further in convincing somebody than trying to shame somebody into doing something. Uh, Lily says, I think by adding ethical considerations into your consumer choices is absolutely valid. Sure. And anti-BDS legislation shouldn't exist. On the other side, forcing people to participate is just as bad. Guys, if you want to, in your own personal life, if you want to boycott something, go right ahead. That's your personal free choice. That's my belief. This is not a legal position. This is a you know my belief. If you want to boycott it, do it. But understand that it's going to be hard in most cases to do a boycott unless it's of a very specific company for a very specific reason. Uh, and this applies to the right and the left, right? So let's be clear. So the guys on the right, if you want to boycott everybody that does DEI, well, then you can't fly in an airplane. 
You can't use a credit card. You can't bank. You can't do it. There's so much you can't do. If you have every, oh, if they have a DEI policy, I'm not going to buy. Well, it's going to be hard because that's literally everybody, right? So what are you going to do? It's too broad. Same thing on the other side, right? This is far too broad. Like this restriction, and let me just pull this up real quick. And I, I'm going to hammer on this a couple times because it, it stands, it's so ridiculous that it needs to be pointed out. But understand, if you were following this and you were following this to the T, first of all, Google, why are you watching a VTuber? Why are you watching a VTuber? Google is supposed to be boycotted. Guess what? For those that may not know, let me, let me, let me inform you of something which may be very upsetting to you. It may be very disturbing. But YouTube is owned by Google. I know. I know it's crazy, right? Oh my god. So so you're not so why are you even watching the VTuber? How did you watch them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, violating your own boycott, you war criminal. You war criminal. Have some war criminal fries, okay? Have some war criminal fries. They're delicious. Uh Hello. Special department. Okay, okay. Uh, and then beyond that, beyond that, let me just point out some other things. Siemens. You know what Siemens makes? Ultrasounds, MRIs, x-rays. Are you going to go into your hospital and be like, excuse me, sir, I don't want to use the war crime x-ray. I would rather die. I would rather not have that MRI. You know, I'm going to let the cancer metastasize because I'm not going to go and get an ultrasound or an MRI. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you're just going to flop a Intel. You're going to throw your computer out, bro? Ah. You know how many buildings were built with Caterpillar? You're going to be like, I'm not going to stay in that structure because it was constructed using a Caterpillar, right? Remax, like, are you going to move out of your home because it was bought with Remax? Come on. I know they're violating Amazon. Some of these are easier, like booking.com, Airbnb, sure, whatever, right? But oil, are you using oil, Chevron, Texaco? It's going to be hard for you, bros. It's going to be real hard for you. Barclays, are you banking? Wix, do you have a website? Most websites are constructed with Wix. Are you checking that? Are you buying your, your waifu pillow off a Wix website? You war criminal. You war criminal using a Wix website. Look at you. It's impossible, guys. It's impossible. Some of these things, the, the, these are ridiculous. And to try to do this would be practically impossible. The only way to do that would be to move into the woods and source your own everything. You got to hunt, you got to fish, and you got to make everything yourself. You can't buy it. That might be a Siemens knife, right? You got to run out there. You got to do everything yourself. And By the way, this 13-year-old child is not capable of that. So get out of here, right? This 13-year-old child probably can't even tie his own shoelaces. If he even wears shoes. I'm not even sure. Could be just feral, right? Running around in his 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 uh <laughs> his, his, uh, his house, his mom's basement or whatever, wherever he is. So once again, big, 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 big issue here. And it's just it's just dumb. It's just dumb. And people recognize this too, by the way. It's not just me. People think, oh, it's just Andrew. Nope. This is actually uh, upvoted on the Niji Sanji uh, Reddit, right? It's from uh, Totless here, uh, who says, probably going to be my most controversial tweet ever. This is not controversial at all whatsoever. If buying Starbucks shit is supporting genocide, then Nike, Apple, Amazon is supporting slavery. You can't cherry pick where morals apply. The Scarlet drama is the biggest joke ever. Stufu. Stufu. Um, and then on top of that, I just want to say, like, there's so much, guys. If you go down this moral road, there's stuff like cobalt. Like, if you have a lithium battery in anything, you, you're you probably supporting slavery in some way because the Congo supplies most cobalt. So your lithium battery is like a slavery lithium battery. So you're going to go you're going to go back to, like, Amish technology here. Like, once again, the people aren't actually following the things they preach. They're just virtue signaling because they want to virtue signal because it's cool. And they they want to be cool, right? They haven't thought about this critically, 
right? They say educate yourself, but these people literally have 39 IQ. 39 IQ in the chat, guys. For all of those. Fighting monkey. I know you guys are absolutely. You guys are degenerates. I know you aren't much above 39 IQ, but the least you can do is smash a like button here if you like this content, guys. Uh, and you, uh, you know, appreciate this coverage. Appreciate this coverage. Um, also want to want to point out here. So that was some coverage there from our boy Kyo. Um, and I want to show, I think I got everything there. Um, let me just show this little bit from Kyo here, but like, obviously the thing that pisses me off is like this poor girl, this poor girl is here in Japan, and like, let, let me just show you what she was doing, right? Stream. If you didn't know, Scarlet is currently in Japan right now, like a lot of other people, and has recently been taking pictures and streaming about stuff she's doing in Japan. She recently took this picture and tweeted out, taking my Scarlet Pepe with me and trying to take pictures discreetly with it is like I'm trying to sell something sus. But looky, this cute pic I took at Ichiran, showing off the Ichiran ramen and the little chibi. And like I said- So, so like, like, she's just trying to enjoy herself. She's literally just trying to enjoy herself in Japan. Like, how fucked up is it that somebody out there went and ruined this poor girl's time in Japan? Right now, this whole experience has been tainted for her because she, like, this this ruins an entire experience for this poor girl, right? This poor girl now ruins her experience to go there, right? Because she's just trying to have a good time. She doesn't know what's been canceled or not, especially in another country, right? International cancellation, right? It, it's she's just trying to have a good time she's trying to enjoy japan and as a person who travels like look if i was traveling and i do this all the time and somebody told me i couldn't go somewhere honestly i, I would just respond pretty clearly and, and and pretty succinctly if someone was trying to tell me not to go somewhere fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you it's my trip i get to enjoy it how i want to enjoy it if you you're not the one there you're not going you're not there if you're there you get to decide you get to pick where you go and don't go it's your life it's your it's your body your choice right you're the one who's traveling there it's me my agency why are you trying to control my agency and where i am going you're trying to control my life actually go fuck yourself right like just saying just saying you're like there's no reason for that at all whatsoever um, and I also want to pull up, uh, da, 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 da. I want to pull up this post, but I'll do it after I read some of this here. So if, by the way, thank you for all the gift memberships. You guys have been like just shouting in the chat. I love you guys. You guys are fucking great. Setsuna Sai with 10 legal mindset memberships. Thank you so much. Uh, Sumi Tanaka. Thank you so much for another 10. Appreciate you big time. And TV trade table with another 10. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate all you guys uh, out there talking about this. Once again, uh, I'm just a, I'm a big stand for free speech. I'm also a big stand for just like, it's their life, right? Let them live it. They want to live their life. They want to uh, enjoy things. Like just, just let them do that. Uh, Liz is based in Amish pills. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Max says, to quote Robin Williams on boycotting China, fuck, they make everything. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing, by the way. And if you want it, look, a conservative boycott of China is just as difficult as uh, as a as a liberal boycott of all this stuff related to this, right? It, it If you make it overly broad, it doesn't work. But if, as Walking Corpse says, you take down one brand at a time, that is possible, right? And we've seen effective boycotts of brands like, for example, and I'm just going to name conservative boycotts, but I'm sure there's liberal boycotts that have worked. Um, in fact, I know like Elton John boycotted uh, one specific uh, hotel because they didn't allow uh, homosexual sex. So that was effective when he boycotted that at one point. So there's a there's one. Um, and it worked and they changed their policy. They had a policy against men on men stuff. So they changed that policy. Uh, on the other side, like Gillette, Bud Light, pretty effective, hit the bottom line there on the other side. Uh, of those two companies, like deeply impacted those companies. Once again, single companies, they targeted singularly and can't have an effect, uh, an effect singularly on a company. But it's not something where it's calling for you to boycott everything, right? That's too much. Scratch Hair Games says, I boycotted Starbucks because they're pricey and now I know savings do the super chat. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, thank you so much for saving up. I, I, this is a better, this is the coffee is better and it doesn't cost Starbucks prices. 
Fun fact about Starbucks in Japan, Korea, or anywhere else, Thailand, they charge the same as they charge in America. It's kind of messed up. This coffee cost me about uh, $2, maybe three, right? But if I went to Starbucks, it's going to cost me like four times that, right? Probably because it's like a larger size. So I think it was like maybe three max, but like, yeah, it, it's, it, it's going to cost way more. They charge American prices. They don't localize prices at all. It's a status thing. It's a status thing. Because people want to, especially in like Korea, they walk around with the Starbucks cup as a status flex. It's something where they say, I have a, I have a, I have a Starbucks cup, therefore I am rich. It's like wearing Gucci or Louis Vuitton, right? It's like it's supposed to be a signal, a virtue signal, like, oh, this is something I have. This is because it's a flex, right? It's the way it is. Social climber coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's an actual thing, guys. It's a real thing, particularly in Asia. Uh, Patrick says, I understand there might be issues actually breaking the terms of the contract, but it may be worth taking a month of pay to get out of the Niji contract. I agree. And we're going to talk about this uh, because there's a little bit of an update that one of you guys forwarded me, which adds some more context to this. Uh, good evening, base lawyer. I hope you had a good day. Also, the Scarlet drama just hurts my head. It really does. It's really stupid. But it's worth addressing here's why. Because as content creators, because I know a lot of you are VTubers. And I know a lot of you are VTuber Jason, or you have your favorite content creator, whatever else. Um, you've got to understand that the way they respond to this matters. And this is something where they're, this is not going to stop. The type of Scarlet thing that happens is not going to stop. And if you're an indie, you might think, well, okay, well, this is how Niji handled it. Should we handle it that way? Well, probably not. It's better to uh, hold your own hold the line, and if you've taken a position, not to apologize unless there's a good reason to apologize. And th there's a good reason that you agree with to apologize, like, and you genuinely believe it, that's fine. But not because it's coerced or not because the weight of people judging you is on you. That's, that's no, it's BS. Uh, Irish says, when someone tells me not to do something, I want to do it, which makes me double down on the point. I've spent thousands on new firearms just to spite them. I tell people this all the time. I tell people that just makes people double down. It makes you dig in. It's bad. Don't do it. Eagle, Eagle, uh, Sari says, reject star schmucks, embrace phase coffee. I forgot about phase coffee. I forgot about that. And then following up here, Sigrun says, why get coffee from Starbucks? When you can get coffee from a fish who runs a mental asylum, I am not sponsored by Face Connect. I wish I was. I need more Face Connect uh, reactions. I need more Face Connect reactions. That's that's very good though. I fully I fully approve. Fully fully approve. Um, of all the Menhara coffee, uh, King Conda says, "Fellow Florida man here. I want to shout out. Came here for the Nietzsche coverage. Stayed for the base weeb lawyer. Your streams are fun to listen to while I'm in my warehouse. Don't." Get much chances of typing the chat though. Okay, well, for, for Florida Man, I'm gonna play it. I'll play the Florida clip here just for you, Florida Man. Maybe I have a chance. <laughs> you goddamn crocodile! Go back to the fucking Florida! Go back to the Florida, you fucking crocodile! <laughs> okay, two more, and we're gonna continue with this. Uh, I love that they went after one liver that we that we people criticizing the company have been calling based, but it thought no backlash would ensue. And by the way, this shows you good look. I I I think that it seems like she had principle and she stood on her principle. It seems like in between A and B, she was forced to apologize. It really does. Airline Food says, "Don't watch uh, Scarlet. She supports genocide." Oh, what did she do? She ate cakes and enjoyed them. You literally got to say something else loud to know how stupid. She literally got in trouble for trying unique cakes that were only available at Starbucks Japan. Seriously. Seriously. Darja also says, 13-year-old whining on their phone that were made in the Congo, mined by, uh, by slave labor, by children even, uh, about a person eating a cake. Put them up for adoption. <laughs> indeed, indeed. There's a reason we say ignorance is bliss. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to know. Uh, the best reply to that kid is the Picora's shut up. Oh, I need to get that one. I need to get that one. Um, 
Also, Mars says, VTubers are entertainers, not soldiers. Fighting against issues yourself. Don't look for others to fight the battles you can and won't. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so let me also touch. There's a couple other things I want to hit on here. Um, there is this. In this post, I, I wasn't sure about, but this is one that was just posted here, which was kind of interesting. So this is the discussion, which is there's a recent, there's a bigger underlying issue with the recent controversy involving Scarlet. Thank you for forwarding this to me. Uh, someone just forwarded this to me during the stream. So thank you. Uh, which is notice how she was addressing those who called her out. Notice how aggressive and sad she sounded. She sounded like she was crying and sniffling. Maybe she was sick, but definitely sounded like she was sick of it all. This is not Scarlet. Past Scarlet would have simply told them straight up, not to bring the issue up, timed them out, and moved on. Instead, notice how hostile she was. She resorted to cursing the viewer out and sounded legit angry. Not just because it was politics, but because working with a black company is taking a toll on her mental health. She's stressed about everything. Why is she in Japan? Did the company mandate it? And if so, why? Are they trying to entrap her? Uh, that's something they can only do in Japan. Was this at the request of Alira? If so, this also contributes to her stress. And who knows why the company could be isolating her in Japan. This isn't exactly a company vacation that she's enjoying. Something's not right, and I think something underlying goes on surrounding Scarly that we're missing. Now, I don't know about some of this. Sounds like a lot of speculation. But one thing I will say is, is that I would be interested whether or not this is something they are paying for under the contract. Because, of course, if it is a training, if it is a training, they would have to pay for that. But if it's just her going for fun, then it would be something else. Now... I know you guys said Hollow Fest is there, but I don't think any Niji people, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, chat, let me know. Are any Niji Sanji talents at Hollow Fest? Right? Uh, are they in Hollow Fest? Are any, are any like officially in an official capacity at Hollow Fest? At, and as their official Niji Sanji, everybody's saying no. Okay. So. There's no legal reason why they would have to be there other than a training or if they're being like somehow re-educated or something, which would be training, right? So no. Okay, no. So that that's not a thing. It's just hollow live. Okay. So yeah, they, they could go incognito. That's fine, right? Somebody said hollow fest. It's hollow fest. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> some of you guys are going full 13 year old twitter on me there <laughs> leon james demetrius says the twitter mom is comprised of chronically online troglodytes nice word troglodytes it's one of my favorites who have no idea how real life is this isn't about supporting a cause it's about virtue signaling essentially bullying yes we're going to get to that because we had somebody dissect this which is really great um from a like PR standpoint, um, which was a really, really great analysis uh, of the Niji fans of the, the kind of the Niji uh, folks. And, and by the way, I've heard people say that part of this is the culture that, that exists with the Niji. I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, but if you've developed a culture where canceling your, 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 your livers, your VTubers is a thing, that's a bad culture. Uh, Shadow said, there's a reason I call the big chunk of the Niji sisters feral. Yeah. I mean, this reacting like that to this would be feral. Did you see that DN lost a thousand on his visa rejected? Maybe the imagination office saw that drunk stream. Maybe, uh, but also it's really hard for foreigners to get in a, a visa to America. Um, guys, it really sucks that a lot of countries that we can go to, or at least as an American, I can visit a lot of places visa free, but those citizens cannot come to America without getting a visa. It sucks. And a lot of times they're denied. Um, Thailand's a great example. I can come here visa free if I want to. I, of course, I do have a visa, right? Um, but you, the point is we can go a lot of places just without having to apply, just showing up and other folks have to apply. It's kind of annoying and it's a little bit un, unfair. And I do agree that we should level the playing field there, uh, in terms of allowing folks in without a visa, if we could go to their country without a visa. Um, Lily says, my favorite part of BDS is that you get called a Nazi regardless of which size. Yeah, it's. I mean, once again, it's a lose-lose. So no matter what you do, 
you're going to be attacked. In that case, it's Scarlet showed perfect example of the fact that if you concede, you're still going to be attacked. So the point from a that standpoint is to just move on. Just don't address it. Don't bring it up. Don't read the super chats. Don't read the comments. Just move on. Just move on. A little behind, but Hollow Live EU should be in Latin. Be based. Jordy said. Niji JP had collabs with Starbucks before. I think that Niji wouldn't like to have a controversy about one of their sponsors come to light. True. And that's a big part of Japanese culture is do not talk about anything controversial at all. So maybe she apologized to keep the heat down, to like keep it simmer down. Maybe she was told by Niji to say that to just keep the heat off. Right? But she doesn't realize it only makes people pounce more. That's the problem. By the way, was it the was it the other the other po folks like uh, Albin and the other Niji Pete folks who had those posts, the McDonald's posts on um, Twitter? Was it them that deleted them, or was that management skinwalking to delete their posts, which they are fully allowed to do? So that's another question: Were those posts deleted, or? Were they deleted by the, the, the actual VTuber or were they deleted by management? Who knows? Why are we not putting the Shaka cat? Come on, make it even. We gotta get that Shaka. It's such a good vibe. Also, so cheesy. So cheesy. Uh, I hate Starbucks, but I ordered a coffee at a spot. Yeah, exactly. You're just gonna push. It's like the Streisand effect. You're gonna make people invest more because you told them not to do it. Jonas of Arc says, honestly, what companies can we even support these days? We need to grow our own produce at that rate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jonas, you got to live in like the woods in a hut. Cat girl is life. Cat girl is love. Indeed. <laughs> they, are, they are thinking boycott is helping. Even actual monkeys are way smarter. Boycotting Google especially. Who do you boycott if there's no internet? Exactly. Just a, a monkey. No better than that. Uh, Niji can be criticized. Uh, Niji can be criticized selling regardless, but not the other thing. Um, yeah, it was a problem with selling where the the criticism was going one way, but she wasn't giving it back, and that's that's how the contract is written. Twitter doing Twitter stuffs. Agree with you. Uh, before noon, and then uh, Nona will do two more, and then we'll start. We'll uh, continue here. Nona says Starbucks didn't do any, do something naughty. Look at the lawsuit between them and Starbucks Workers Union, who actually made really bad posts. Oh, I believe it. I actually have heard about that one. Um, there are far worse posts. But I don't buy Starbucks coffee anyways. Once again, it's overpriced and not that great. Kieran says, also, to mention one thing, just like Kyo Scarlet apologized, later thinking she learned her lesson, but it was Niji Sanji management forcing her. Uh, it's a theory, but there you go. Also, Scarlet, Scarla, Scarla. Scarla, thank you. Oh, Ghostly, welcome as a new member. Uh, appreciate you very, very much. Um, and <laughs> Sume, bro, just to dig quick summary. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not giving you a fill in over there in Austria. You got to catch up yourself. I, I am going to start. So, guys, I, I do want to hire somebody maybe to do more clips and stuff like that. Or or get it done like a little bit more. I, I'm gonna work. I'm actually working on that. So I am gonna get more summaries and stuff out. I know it's been really hard because my streams are so long to clip stuff to get it down to condense it. But I do plan to do more on that in the future. So I am working on that. Uh, the process is a little slow over here, but make it happen. Slayer says, "Love listening to your streams during work. Not only do I learn legal stuff, but it keeps me uh, helps me work. Keep at it. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure." Um. All right, so let me read this post. This post is actually pretty hilarious. Um, this is a, a post from Reddit uh, of a poster who, I guess he posted dissecting Niji Sanji's manipulative PR video. But he said, Niji Sanji might have some of the most media illiterate fans I ever saw. When I saw this, I was like, this is, this is, this is just great. This is absolutely great. Just pointing out how they don't know what they're doing is backfiring on them. So the video got posted here a while back. Title might be a bit hyperbolic, but nonetheless, uh, the way Scarla is being treated is infuriating to me. 
I wanted to drop some fundamental concepts so that you learn your first or second year in undergrad media or comm. So anyone who reads this has more words to articulate why attempting to force activism on your famous entertainer, because that's what livers are, is the most ham-fisted way possible and so destructive. Compassion fatigue. Compassion fatigue. This is a phenomenon where constant exposure to bad news and appeals to your sympathy from a variety of causes burns out an individual to the point where they become less receptive to engaging in humanitarian issues. This is a big one. Some people might call this black pill, right? This is when you get black pill. Like if you go down any rabbit hole that's just purely negative, black pill, it can be, it can be compassion fatigue as well. Leaving aside the idiocy of saying that it is in politics to bring up genocide in a conversation, if I had to pull a tooth out for every time genocide and politics have overlapped in human history, I'd sure I'd be able to make dentures for the entire age population of Japan. Our minds were never, this is super based, by the way, super based. Uh, our minds were never built to handle the word, the amount of worldwide tragedy that we are opened up to every day simply by being online. This is a problem, terminally online. Problem, you're exposed to too much of it. To expect any human being, let alone one trapped in the middle of a draconian work environment, to be constantly educated on all these issues is laughable. A feat that could only be reasonably accomplished by God or a psychopath. Moral, this is true, by the way. This is so true, right? Uh, oh, by the way, Katsuni says, sitting this here for appreciation for making my job in retail go faster. Thanks for being so informative. I try. I try to bring you guys a little bit higher level content so we can raise the IQ from 39 IQ. Let's raise that. 39 IQ in the chat, guys. Moral panic, a process whereby a condition, event, person, or minority is made to look like a threat to collective social values and interests. This was originally a phenomenon that was applied to how traditional news outlets would pick up on a specific issue or group of people deemed to be social deviants and make them out to be a problem that all of society needed to address yesterday. Nowadays, since more media is being generated by everyday users than traditional media, this process of fear-mongering and emotional manipulation can be done by any hashtag trend or hive mind activism that gains a bit of traction, depending on how small and or incestuous your social media bubble is. It's emotionally draining, manipulative approach to trying to get people to take care about an issue. And the awareness brought to that issue is outweighed by the human cost of demonizing something or something else and risking compassion fatigue to those involved. Absolutely. Absolutely. This can happen. This can happen with the right, the left. It's definitely true. Folk devil. I'm currently working on a video about it. Ooh, I look forward to, I look forward to, to, um, to looking into that. The result of turning a person into the embodiment of a group's collective fears, concerns, or anxieties. Yes. This is very, very, very true. A lot of times this happens with uh, famous people. So celebrities, politicians, industrialists, right? So some people might think uh, Elon Musk is the embodiment of all evil, right? Whatever, right? It could be anybody. Uh, the result of turning person. So this could happen when the problems faced by a group are so complex and deep rooted that solving them is almost impossible. So a folk devil is conjured and often figuratively killed as a way of granting everyone a feeling of emotional catharsis. Funny how this tactic that both Niji Sanji and its diehard fam seem to be okay with using. So in this case, they often use people like, for example, Zion Lanza. Zion Lanza was, you could argue, fell into an fell into this uh this category, right? Right? Very, 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 very possible there. Uh, I, If I could make media degrees free for everyone, I would, uh, exactly because of these situations, probably not worth bo bothering trying to educate anyone guilty of behavior I've described. But if you ever find people coming after you, hopefully this helps uh, make you uh, understand uh, what they say. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully this helps make what they say bounce right off. So hopefully this gives you a defense, right? 
Very good post. I want to say it's a very good post. I really enjoyed that one. Once again, I enjoy like academics. I enjoy learning. I enjoy putting uh, words to things. Somebody in the chat said folk devil is like a straw man. I agree. Once you're able to think, oh yeah, and you're able to see the patterns, right? It becomes easier to understand and defend against. And saying that this is a tactic that is used time and time again, where one person is made out to be the embodiment of all evil. It happens over and over and over again. And it's just not true. It's just not true. Um, about any one single person. But what is true is 39 IQ virus is spreading. So beware. <laughs> uh, appreciate that. Guys, make sure you're smashing the like button on this video. I really appreciate that uh, very, very much. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, and for liking the video, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, going to be back tomorrow, of course, doing even more. But we're going to get through all these 47 Super Chats. So don't you worry. Also, we've got the bow clip as well. Uh, and I've got some like final comments as well from a personal standpoint about uh, about most of this stuff. Um, but let me... Okay, let me get to these. Let me get to these. Uh, Einhander says, The list for boycatting was supposedly released by BDS, a historically political group accused of xenophobia and racism. So, yeah, political. Yeah, that's my thing. So, so this list, and I'm going to just have the list up here so you guys see it and see how ridiculous it is. This list is, is political, and beyond that, it's impossible to follow, right? But the question always is with these lists, who makes the list and who made them God? Right? Who made this group? Who made this group the dictator, the judge, jury, and executioner of these companies? Right? That they say, oh yeah, they're the ones you need to boycott. Right? I would do a little research, obviously, before you boycott anything and saying, okay, is this person? Is this something we can trust? Is this a source we can trust? Abetta says Niji Management also got screwed up for stream elements, so the donut page will forever be uh, scarlet. Scaly, Scaly, Onaguni. Oh no, that's bad. LM confirmed for approving a second Japanese mushroom order because <laughs> of my war crime fries. Oh man. Uh, for not for real fans, hate them bakers. This is why gatekeeping can be viewed as a good and, and, and in a sense, you know, keeping out folks that are not a true fan. I do agree you should listen to your fans, you should listen to your supporters, you should but not people that are detract that are just coming through that are tourists. Doc says, when are we talking about Disney war crimes again? Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have some videos in the future on that um, coming up. There, there, there's been some stuff, but I, I wait for bigger news to, to cover, uh, not just like small minor things. But yes, of course, there's gonna be the shareholder meeting coming up. That'll be big. Uh, Calamus Prime says, let people have fun. As a moderator rules, those are always non-arguable. Don't need to justify my degen American consumerism. Nobody would. No. And what you buy is your own business in any country. Kieran says, one more thing I want to bring up. I think this is illegal, right? That the caller should be responsible. Need you literally swat somebody for, ooh, depending dog. Yeah. If you're swat, swatting is illegal in the US. If you're caught doing that, that is punishable. Um, so don't ever engage in that. Yeah, that is illegal. Silbury said, I just want to see a VTuber respond. You don't own me. I signed up to entertain you, nothing else. If I don't want you as a fan, go ahead, cancel me. I think there are VTubers that would say that. I mean, I think we know like a certain based bunny that probably would uh, hold that hold that view. Um, for sure. Fry, uh, FYI, Finana said, educate yourself, fans learned well. Well, educate yourself can can mean a lot of things, right? I mean, educating yourself, if you really want to educate yourself, it's fine, but saying it as a response, like educate yourself. Uh, calm down there, Sparky. Uh, leftists argue that everything is political. They would see Scarly, Scarly as being political first. They demand saint-level behavior from others, not them. Well, when it's your Oshi, right, when it's your idol, you demand them to be ideologically pure, but that's not fair on them. They're a human, and they're never going to share if you have a particular purity. They may not share those specific views, but if you care about them, you should care about them being able to be themselves and not trying to control them into, like, your little route. Uh, Before Noon says, Niji sisters. <laughs> you gave them an inch, and they will take a mile, always. Might be imagining it, but it sounds like she's giggling, says Silver. Could be. 
Uh, Logio says two points. One, a good chunk of these companies literally run the planet in our lives. What the hell are these freaks expecting to do, honestly? And then two, here's an idea. Maybe this would be a PR problem if you never brought up the boycott in the first place. Didn't you think of that, kid? He's a third. He's a kid. He's a minor. He's probably 13 years old or something like that. No, he didn't think. Oh, uh, wait. He joined Twitter in 2022 and he's 13. He probably broke the rules. Probably. Probably. And he, he privated his, uh, his account. So, I mean, you know, that shows you that what responses he was getting. Why I can never become a public figure. I'm sorry. You did not read the rules. I'm sorry. You're sensitive about it. Oh, well, sorry. You hurt your feelings, but you know, it's just your feelings. Shouldn't have apologized. She should be banned for harassment. Yes, that uh, that poster should have been banned. Straight up banned. I agree. Uh, Byron uh, Arya says, imagine being a billion dollar company and forcing your employees to bend the knee to a 13 year old who doesn't have a clue how the real world works. Probably hasn't left their grandmother's basement, which is fine. I love grandma too. Grandma's great. But if you're going to be there, maybe don't cast stones, right? Just like, just enjoy, right? Just hang out. Enjoy. It's fine. Like, just enjoy from your grandma's basement. That's fine. No no shame there. Right? Grandma's basement is cozy. Like, she brings you cookies. It's fine. Wholesome Nana. <laughs> Ends in the chat for Wholesome Nana. Uh, look up a good, uh, look up the good place clip. Michael figures out what's wrong with the system. It's very relevant. I think I've seen that one. I'll look it up after. Thank you, guys. What's the point of Scarly having rules? Yeah. Exactly. Abadis says, what, by the way, are the McDonald's fries in China still stale because of the reuse of oil? When my mom was there, it's an ongoing issue. I've not been to China. So I'm a little bit afraid. I'll, you know what? Tomorrow, I'm going to give you some legal mindset lore on why I'm like slightly scared of going to China. Some of you probably don't know this, but we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, we will do tomorrow evening. We're going to do uh, the review of Hollow Live CN, the fall of Hollow Live CN kind of reviewing that, going over that information. So I'll give you some mindset lore on why I'm afraid of going to uh, going to China. <laughs> lore! Uh, yes, lore. Someone asked, when am I going to the Philippines? Uh, 21st. The 21st. So, uh, all right. Not case. Oh, shout out, not case. Oh, shout out. Thank you for affording me the article. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, got here late. Uh, but went and watched your coverage. You cover the cover announcement. Good luck with the debut later today. Yeah, I don't know when it's going to be exactly because I have to reconcile my streaming software. I'm really sorry about that, but I wanted to to do it live and stream as I in in you know have my VTuber icon up. Um, I was trying to do it through. I I've got reactive the reactive images from Discord, so it's like the speaking image and the non-speaking image. So I got that working. And I got that working with OBS, but I was trying to link that with StreamYard so I got all my stuff. I'm probably going to have to go directly with OBS, but then I got to figure out, you know, how to set that up. So it, just give me some, give me a little bit of time on that. Um, yeah, yeah. May do a quick, like, intro pre-recorded video, maybe, but I don't get to be live, though. Um, but I have a lot of, so, like, I, I'm only going to, like, probably have two at first, like, the speaking, not speaking, but I have, like, 16 different uh, emotions, right, for the for the ping. So it's, it's got a lot of, got a lot of action. Um, so what happened if Scarlett got terminated while in Japan by Niji? Well, she would just have to go home and they wouldn't pay for her ticket. I hope she paid for her own ticket. Um, or like has the, the ability to fly back on her own. That'd be weird to be trapped in Japan, but I'm sure she bought a round ticket. Dead said, I'm a tourist, but, but can you say, can you be more based? <laughs> no, no, I cannot. Um, NGL, you need to react to long, long man. Okay. All right. Two people have sent me long, long man requests. So now that I've, now that I've like been requested it twice, I will, I will do long, long man before we, before we get out of here for sure. So, okay. Uh, Kieran says they have been basically saying we should not use cars. We should starve. We should use, we should use, um, we should not use anything online, which surprise you children. Are using these services? Yeah, all of these services: Intel, right? Google, Amazon. You're, you're not going to get around Google, okay? Sorry, if you got a computer, Intel, Google. Yeah, you're you're kind of screwed, kind of screwed. Apple's not much better either. War crimes. So are those Canadian fries? <laughs> uh, in that kid's bio, it says he's autistic. No, no, yeah, no, it's right. He's he said he's autistic. I didn't want to bring that up because you know that's a thing. But whatever. Look, listen, I love my. I love my tits out there. I love my people with the tism. Mad respect for my tits. 
look, I wouldn't the the internet wouldn't be a thing without good tism, right? There's good tism and bad tism. That's a, that's a negative use of the tism, okay? So, just saying, just saying. Um, you know, bad use. Wait till the boy finds out most multinational conglomerates have entire branches dedicated to military solutions. Yeah. I mean, a lot of big, for example, in Korea, like there's a lot of the big corporations have like a defense branch. T in the chat for TISM. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, even in the legal sphere, we call it law TISM, which is great. Um, I would call people in this back like in this bacteria, but that applies. To use. No, no, no. Uh, let's see. Scribbling on the wall says the first line of Gangnam style is about fancy coffee. Mm -hmm. Twitter activists are doing the same BS they did last year with Hogwarts legacy, same pattern, different fight. And you saw what happened with Hogwarts. It was still the most popular game in the world. It's still played by many people, right? Hogwarts is still a game that was successful despite everybody trying to cancel it. So good luck with that. Uh, Dr. said, I want to disapprove this rant. Scarlett has been wanting to go to Japan and was uh, and was planning it since she visited the entire time. Okay. Okay, there you go. So maybe that that theory that she was going there because she was forced is a, is a bunk theory. It's a rat. Uh, the Einhander says, they do go IRL to Holofest just because they want to. Nina missed it, and I think Scarlett went last year as well. Yeah, they're allowed to uh, independently, right? incognito in their in their flesh their flesh disguise captain tanker says people won't see the political questions as cancel bait but people think i try cancel baiting by asking questions about freight trains that i'm known by the phase community for asking also did you receive the dmca clip i believe i did oh crap i don't have it loaded up this time wait no i think i showed it last time the pippa uh pippa dmcas live that one, that one, I think we showed that one, the Pippa DMCA one. Tic Tac Taker says, you may know about an ex Niji liver, Kyo Kanoko. He was accused of being racist. Uh, he, he refused to apologize, and days later he apologized. Yet Uki can be openly racist. Nothing happens. Guess clicks do exist. No preferential treatment. I mean, even, if, even without a click. The thing is, there's a certain group of people which... One thing is allowed on and other things are not allowed on, right? And because there's not enough pushback when certain things are said, like what Uki did, right? That's a problem. There needs to be more pushback on that. Way more pushback. There's some good Pip of the Ripper covers. I've seen you guys talking about Pip, Pip of the Ripper slaps, guys. Lila said, says, did you ever get the chance to watch I Am At Soup? Yes, I have watched that one. It was good. It's very good. Uh, I saw a video about gutter oil in China. Is not good. Gutter oil is nasty, and it's real. The gutter oil thing is real. They believe it tastes better. Oh, and by the way, one of my good friends is from China. I love Chinese food, but gutter oil does scare me. Uh, Younglex313 says, base lawyer is base. Glad for the recent VTuber coverage. I've learned a lot because of it. Hope you touch on the next Nintendo versus Yuzu case in the future. Keep it up. It's closed. It's settled. There's nothing to cover on it, uh, Young Lex, because it's closed. So what we have is we have Yuzu essentially turning over the 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 everything to them. Um, they settled that case, Nintendo versus Yuzu. So what we have is that, but what we don't have is case precedent that destroys emulation. What we might have had if they went through a uh, if they went through a lawsuit is we might have case law that says emulators are all legal we don't have that which is good which is good it was settled right it was settled it's good good news uh hey guys says they are likely most likely getting educated just like the artist don't leave the company you are worthless without us you are nothing and will never be successful actual language from corporate Zin says not only is niji not at hollow fest they're running petra's 3d debut at the exact same time as the free viewing time for talents like Fubuki, Miko, and Subaru, who are pulling 100k IZ to set her up to fail. Yep. You got to know your competition, know what they're doing. I always enjoy appeals to emotion. It's annoying. Oh, ignore. Yes, ignore. Litigator love. Sorry I'm late. Litigators in the chat for all you guys out there. Appreciate y'all. Vingard said, 
by the time they are trying to educate the character, the character itself would build to specific to make only would build too specific to make only a group of humans enjoy what it is supposed to enjoy by the mass of a human. Well, I, what I think is they, if you go down a road of the cancellation sort of road, you end up enjoying nothing. This is my personal opinion, but I think it drains the enjoyment out of stuff. Uh, I think we should maintain way more of an open mind and be way more thoughtful on issues. And we just don't do that. You can have an opinion, but you should always think that you can learn more uh, and maintain some humility. The fact that a 13-year-old child, a literal child, has the sheer fucking hubris to think that they know better than a, than a grown-ass adult, right? That they're so educated. Their 13-year-old tistic self is so educated that they they are they're out there above all other people. They're so educated because they're they're this this child. I don't know whether they're 13 or whatever. They're a minor, right? They're a child, right? They're a child. It's ridiculous. And to that I say, what the fuck? Like, come on, come on. Oh, what's up, Lydia? Good to see you in the chat. You had really good takes on this. I uh, appreciate you. Appreciate your coverage. XOXO. Uh, base cat girl. Uh or, or, or sigil one <laughs> orsgl one thank you welcome as a member appreciate you appreciate you um we got creative burst who said in tomorrow's clip would be good to add to your collection yeah i i, I do think i needed some more clips ina tomorrow wait no, no 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 not this one i thought this clip wait no ina oh not fumoka but this one's good too yeah, you'll be there okay. today mm. today not tomorrow, not tomorrow. today Ah, 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 ah. Today. That's a good clip. Solid clip. Just gotta say it's a solid clip. All right. Um Copacetic says apparently there's another group taking up switch emulation scene. The emulator is called the Suyu Suyu, meaning they've got an attorney on hand for Oh, that's nice. That's good. Let's go. Do it. Waiting for my timeout. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Zacko person. Where are you at? Actually, let's tell my mom to do it. Hey, Danielle, time out, Zacco person. They want to know how it feels. Time them out. Time them out for me, Danielle. <laughs> Find them, eliminate them. Order, order 66. <laughs> oh, God, it's real funny. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Time them out. Time them out. Time them out. Time them out. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Everybody just trying to get timed out today. Just trying to be put in the naughty camp. Have you seen Ken Ashcorp sings the Pippa the Ripper with Pippa's reactions? I think I have seen that one. Um, Pippa the Ripper. I think I have seen this one, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think I have, but I, I may play it at the end. We'll see. Also, Dr. CMK gets five legal months of memberships. Thank you so much, Dr. CMK. Appreciate you very much. Um, okay, yeah, I got that one. Uh, Joan says, Scarlett was playing the trip for a while. I wanted to go alone and make some content there. I think the online fictivists were harassing her. And that's the problem. Artemos says, modern society likes to spotlight consent. Chat rules are seen as rules of consent. Would you say they violated her consent of chat? Yes. And they violated her individual wishes for her channel. Her channel clearly had it marked uh, that she did not want to deal with that, right? That she did not want to deal with drama or BS or any of that other stuff. She wanted to, like, just do her own sort of content, right? So they clearly were violating her, uh, violating her will there, right? So that's, that's definitely a thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, Jules says, sorry, I got distracted for two seconds with, with bow here. I got bow's court loaded up, uh, here on the side, uh, to go with after this. Um, I think the Twitter mob represents a social and moral decline of people due to living too easily. Yes. And also just being term terminally online and not realizing we sometimes should be kind to people and be considerate and empathetic. Right. I think it's better for all of us to sometimes have a, a little shred of empathy. Now, if someone comes at me, 
fuck that shit gloves off. Right. But if, you know, at face value, if I don't know somebody, I, I, I treat them nice to begin with when they want to throw down, then yeah, we'll deal with it that way. But I start nice. Uh, let's see. It sounds like some small dominoes started this Oshi education, like during Vox's role play and trigger warning debacles. Maybe also I heard Vox told her your mama joke. That was, that was zesty. All right. Logio says people who unironically tell someone to educate yourself really piss me off. They do not genuinely want people to learn. They're just mad. They're butthurt. They're butthurt about it. And even if you learn, they think it's not enough. It's never enough. That's the problem. It's never enough. Really grinds my gears is people who don't even want to do their own research on an issue. That's why my whole channel is be your own judge because I want you guys to go out there and do it. Don't take my word for it, right? Don't take my word for it. Go out there and look yourself. And just jump on the brainwagon, spedging misinformation. Yep. Happens very, very, very often. Or people just bandwagon with stuff that's totally wrong. On the right and on the left, Kieran says some positive. Uh, are, what are your thoughts on Hollow Live expanding the U.S.? They're getting a new studio. Who knows what else? Uh, you go expanding. Yes, I, I think I think they could get a lot of new stuff, and I think this could open up a lot for essentially um, expansion for merch, uh, things they can deliver to you, things they can products that they can have that are going to be radically cheaper. So. I think there's a lot of possibility for business in the U.S. I also think they're going to expand greatly their convention presence. I think that's something that's coming. I read that in what they said. They are going to be way more present at anime conventions. That's going to be huge. Can you imagine that? And any anime convention that manages in all you, you convention directors out there, you better start talking and you better start talking to Hollow because that is going to be a massive get of getting VTubers, of who gets a VTuber and who does not, which conventions get them and not. Could be big. Could be big. Um, would you be interested in covering a failed South African VTubing uh, agency that was involved in bad child stuff and not paying? Email me or send it to my Discord. If you've got a story for me, email it to me and send it to my Discord. I have tons of stories, guys. I have so many, so many. But uh, I will get to reviewing them for sure. Uh, Bettis says, when I, refuse, when I said refuse oil, I meant for half the day. <laughs> Reuse oil. Yeah, yeah, Um, If you're doing the fall of CN, include Coco. They go, yeah, yeah, I will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's hand in hand. Um, next, levels of base were too massive. Had to donate. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, Jake says, when you mentioned Twitter arguments making everyone dumber, Billy Madison, everyone in the room is now dumber. 25 seconds long. Oh, that's a great one. That's a great one. Everyone should hear that one. Uh, that's a great reaction. And it's a classic too from the flesh, from the flesh tube era. Here you go. This is just the, the if you guys haven't seen this, this is, uh, this is classic Billy Madison, Adam Sandler when it was good. And not weird. So. Mr. Madison, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. It's kind of loud. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine, but uh... you remain one. <laughs> so that that is a great one. That was a great clip. Classic clip. <laughs> Classic clip. Very good for Twitter. That does accurately describe Twitter. Have you seen the parody song of American Pie called Mr. Tazumi-san? Aside from being hilarious, I will check that out afterwards for sure. Berserker says. Uh, I, I like uh, that. I can imagine that one. <laughs> oh God. Like this. Bye bye. Niji san. Uh, anyways, you know, uh, wait, that list has Intel on it. How many of them use an Intel product? I'm saying they use a computer. So between Google and Intel and Intel chip. Yeah. They're using that. No, oh, check your computer for me. Right. They're walking around with an iPhone talking about slavery. Right. It's like, please. 
Shout out says, by the way, kind of did some hollow, hollow, kind of did see some hollow coverage on my home. Recommend Narissa from Advent as a cool VTuber. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like Narissa from what I've seen of her. Seems really cool. Uh, Oyamata says, after learning uh, Akira Toriyama passed away, RIP, what was your favorite moment in his works? Man, I was a big Dragon Ball fan. So I loved when it was like Piccolo and Goku, like back in the day. And that, that was like the big rivalry. You know, like the old Piccolo, like Piccolo was like the big ante, right? Super cool moment in Dragon Ball. Like, and just, just really awesome. Like Dragon Ball was so cool. Dragon Ball was like growing up for sure. Right? So yeah, RIP, RIP for sure. Just great work and should be remembered with lots of respect. I sent an email with the video. Okay, let me check that, Joe. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked me a question. Um, oh, somebody somebody gave me some facts on Scarla. So they're reading through here. Scarla, I'm reading this email. I don't want to open it up because I don't want to dox anybody. I'm just reading an email here. Not your email, Captain Tinker. Uh, waiting to see that one. As a fan of Scarla, let me inform you some things. Scarlet's trip to Japan as something she planned for a long time and been excited for. Management did not fund it. It was out of her pocket. Scarlet did not inform any Niji Sanji members about her trip. The, media, the live stream with Millie was a surprise stream. Scarlet was on Gundam phase after watching Mobile Suit Gundam, so her priority was to visit a Gundam site that was supposed to be taken down ah, in like Yokohama, maybe? As a writer pointed out, Scarlet was stressed, but it was mainly because she went to Japan management, dropped a voice pack recording on her so it could be one of the things stressing her so there could be a lot of factors stressing her not just like coercion right boss the mo the modern says ot since i know you're in thailand as a thai person i'm curious how much you know spice can handle uh uh ahan pet mak mak i can eat very 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 spicy food right so i'm okay i eat som tam all the time like pad kapow i eat very 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 spicy stuff so i am very very good right uh, with the peppers here, which are very freaking spicy. Uh, I like to cry sometimes. It's good. It's good. It's healthy for me. So, uh, yeah. I also grew up on Jamaican food. Jamaican food is very spicy. I like coming here. It reassures me that some parts of the world and I aren't completely insane. Thank you. No, no problem. Thank you. There's, I truly believe, here's a white pill, guys. Most people out there are sane. Most people, when I reviewed their comments on this and responses, are sane. Most people most people responded the way we all responded in this chat. Most people were like us. They are trying to gaslight you into believing that the very small amount of people out there that are crazy in the head are the majority. They are actually not. Most people are actually reasonable. Uh, it's just a very small amount on Twitter that are, that are amplified, that are supported, that are, that are just, they're given so much leeway. They control so much more than reality. Twitter is not reality. Normal people, I'm talking to normal people, they, they don't even know. When I bring up stuff on Twitter, they act like I'm crazy. And I explain, I'm like, this was an argument on Twitter. They're like, are these people retarded? I'm like, no, they're not. Oh, maybe. But anyways, that's not the point, right? Point is, is that um, it's just so divorced from reality. It's really divorced from reality. Um, let's see here. I got a couple more. Uh, Adi Adikawa clips is a hiccup in Palestine advocacy. Uh, this, I hate Niji Sanji and the sisters, but I support Palestine and BDS. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's once again, it's, it's weird. It, it's, it's weird. Um, People should really just respond to Twitter trolls like how Corona responds to people who mess with her when she sleeps. I don't know about that, but I would just respond like this. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. It's good enough. Uh, Softopus says, I've been penalized for saying that internet avatars established IP shouldn't be drawn waving Palestine flags against her. Well, really? Really? Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't... Uh, what? You shouldn't put political beliefs on other folks, but people are going to have their AUs and are going to do their art regardless. I'm kind of a free speech person, but understand that like, if you want to like, for example, if you're going to put your favorite internet avatar in a, 
in a Biden 2024 shirt, expect someone to put them in a Trump 2024 shirt, right? Expect both, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna do one, the other's gonna happen. And you lose the right if you are prescribing something on somebody, you're pushing someone something, then everybody has the right to do that, right? So if if you're forcing a corporation to boycott something because of your political belief, then everybody has the right to do that, right? Because we have to be consistent, right? So when it comes to somebody wanting to boycott a company for being misandrous, that is hating men, right? You've got to boycott that one too, right? we got to make everybody happy, right? We can't earn anybody's fees. That's equal. That's equality. Right? We just gotta, we just gotta, it's gotta be all the way. Mutually assured boycotts. I I I'm aware. I'm aware, professional gentlemen. I'm very aware. Okay. I understand they don't they don't understand hypocrisy and logic, like basic logic. Uh, off to sleep now. Read pink tubers. Uh Vito Min, Mini. Oh, uh Viado Mini is a known alternative. Testing it myself. Perhaps you can look to okay. Let me look that one up. Viado. Yado to mini. Okay. I'm going to look at that. It's really a software thing. It's, I have to make sure I have the right software. I have ping tuber plus, but it looks like it's too much. And also I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to share stuff with that. Like it, it's got to integrate with OBS correctly. So we got to, got to work, work through that. Um, it's about like one software talking to another, talking to me. Uh, Lord Commander Argentis says, how does one chip challenge even phase you? Um, I, I haven't, tried the one chip challenge but i i don't i think it's off the shelves actually um but it, it does phase me like I, I i'm not saying i'm immune to spicy i will cry or whatever but i don't mind it i actually like that maybe i'm malicious i don't know or like was it masochistic not malicious uh hollow says western media loves to amplify the lunatic fringe yes yes of both sides white pill president uki gets to get down <laughs> oh no 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 oh no well today it might be yellow pill because of my my seeming yellow tint here um just wondering just another waming pomodachi so have you seen the clip of uh uh yago uh, showing up randomly to a hall live fan yes at lacc i have seen that one thank you for that i have seen that one in fact i think i've played that a couple times here uh, I think I've seen that a couple times. Oh, also, uh, I've seen the the T the Tenma DMCA one. Uh, I think I've seen that one, but I'm gonna play that one, Captain Tanker Joe. I just got that one in. Thank you for emailing me that. Uh, Young Mo said I went to uh, Thailand with a friend for New Year's. Loved it. Lots of spicy food. Some too much for my taste, but even fast food is immaculate. Yeah, yeah, guys. Asian fast food is good, which makes you want to try it. Patrick says, "Dear leader mindset, yes, indeed." Roger. Roger that. 95. Welcome as a new member. Send a second email in case you can't find the first. I found it. I got it. Are you going to have uh, guests on? I'm going to try to get a couple on for that. Uh, I may get on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use Rima's documentary for some of it. So I may see if uh, our best pony girl will get on. Um, that may happen. Uh, so that may happen. Also, Junie, the girl who did the. Um, the great policy breakdown. She's uh, just one of like not a lawyer, but just did a good comparative uh, document there. Um, I may have her on for doing Accio Air or for the Hollow Life CN. I'm not sure which. I try not to have too many uh, on for that. Also, I think I'm going to announce it. I know this is going to be super spicy, but and it, and it may get me in trouble. It probably is going to get me in trouble. It probably is definitely going to get me in trouble. It's probably definitely going to cause like a, a minor amount of backlash, but I've got a hello, special department. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a one covering Pippa, an exclusive Pippa episode, because I've got some thoughts on on Pippa. So I think I've got to do one, but that's gonna be after CN, after a couple things. Uh, might be a tiny bit of trouble. Might be a tiny bit of trouble. Might be a tiny bit of trouble. That's a separate one separate episode be a little little spicy spicy bunny girl um perhaps rock the internet a little bit jones says if you want people to help chair uh, charity is a great option well yeah yeah exactly that that's true so if people want if you want to mobilize people go mobilize people to gain money to to support something i supported 
uh, I wanted to raise money for veterans. And I saw I rated $8,000 we raised for veterans, right? $8,000, right? Um, for veterans uh, support charity, right? I'm going to do a charity stream again. I love charity streams. I love doing charity streams. Focus on something positive. Let's do something, do something positive. Don't just bitch. Go support something, right? But all they know how to do is destroy. They don't know how to give, right? So when I look at someone like Doki Bird who raised a ton of money for mental health, right? That's how you separate positive from negative people. Yeah, Danielle and Patrick both saying that was a great stream. It was a fantastic stream. I love it. And I'm going to do it again probably. Uh, maybe pick a different charity, whatever, spread the love around. But charity is a good way to support the people that you want to support and to give back. Do that instead. Ditsy Ditsy for five, 50. Thank you so much, 50 pesos. Cryosite, uh, the fall of Halo, CN, and Kayu, um, Coco Kiryu stuff. Good source to watch is DN's videos on those. Yeah, uh, Rima has really great videos. So I think I'm going to go with Based Horse Girl, but I'm sure that DN would consent to that. Um, and then Andrew Clark says Vita 2 Mini is free, but ask for donation. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. I'm always happy to donate to free stuff. Always, 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 always. All right. Well, I think we've gotten through the meat of what we had to get through there. Uh, welcome. Great brewer as a new member. So let's watch Bao defend herself in court or not defend herself in court. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, where's Bao? There she is. Was wearing a fur suit. Hold on. She was wearing a fur suit, and she had a picture of the wolf from from Puss in Boots, and she was interacting with it in a way she was touching it and herself with <laughs> the picture. Please don't laugh. It's it's oh. not funny. All right, I'm so I'm sorry to have you explain that. It's okay. It's what just happened. I'm sorry. You should be. Sorry. You could have explained this yourself, uh, Mags. You put uh, her on my witness. Uh, well, I would gonna... like to ask for clarification of the court. What exactly is veiled under the term interacting? In... What the fuck is this, Judge? What the hell is this, Judge? What is this? What is this kangaroo court here? What is even going on? These um, eyewitness account. What is yiffing? Is what the court wants. Oh no! What? No. What the fuck? Disgusting. Wants to know. It's when, it's when, um, furries have sex. <laughs> well, there goes the stream, guys. Um, we're officially demonetized now. So if you guys could please smash the like button because, you know, somebody who decided to recommend this just decided to, to, to monetize the stream. So, yeah, go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you got this shit out because, uh, yeah, that's going to do it right there. Furries, furries, fur sex is definitely going to do it. Within a furry context. All right. Nice wow. and simple. Thank you. So much money on therapy and I just want her to get help. I just need her to get help, and I need her to go away for a long, long time. That's okay. It's okay, Mako. We'll get her away. Thank you. We'll put her down. <laughs> well, uh, that's leading, all from leading, the prosecution, leading, Your Honor. Leading, that's all leading, from the prosecution, leading, Your Honor. Leading, <laughs> leading. Lying bitch! Hey, hey, order in the court! Your order Honor! in the court! Stop her! Order in the oh, court! Your so Honor, much please, this is a kangaroo court with how Bao is acting. Okay, Bao the whale, please repeat after me. Yeah. I solemnly swear I am not capping. I solemnly swear I am not capping. That is not enforceable in a court of law. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out here as a lawyer and say that cap is not a legal term, okay? Do not use cap in a court of law. It's not gonna fly, guys. It's not gonna fly. Sir <laughs> cap sussy, not gonna fly in a court of law. Just saying. Just saying. All right, bet. Marco Sami. Okay, when the judge says bet, you know you're in trouble. When the judge is saying bet, you're in trouble. Shima, please repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I am not capping. <laughs> solemnly swear Shut the I'm fuck not. Up! I should pay for a no shot too while you're at I would it. like you guys to please provide. Yeah, look, your forehead's defense. big, so. 
Do you guys both want to get arrested for a contempt of court? Like, I mean, we can we can catch <laughs> no, two cases no if you judge. want to. No, Judge. All right, all right. Then no shut more. the fuck up in my court, okay? Your Honor. Listen, remember, no, Your Honor. remember no, I'm the one judging y'all's behavior, yes, so you better shape up, okay? Yes, Make me sure talk like a geriatric thing. Shape up. God damn it. If you were the same during ovulation week and you're the same during streaming and you're the same in 2016, I do not see you being different on stream and off stream. I feel like it's the same thing. Your Honor, he literally does yeah. not have a pussy. Bow met me. My oh my God. I'm so dead right now. I'm so dead right now. It's horrible. My shark model. And we did exchange uh, pleasantries in the form of wanting to make out at some different time. Uh, okay, <laughs> I admit it. I'm a furry. I yiff and I'm proud. <laughs> woof, 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 bark, bark, bark. Hashtag not like this. What is not what even is this, guys? What even is this? What is this? Guys, come on. Being spelled with a K. <laughs> thing you've provided as evidence has been posted on Twitter for public knowledge for everyone to see. No DMs, no, no one saying, hey. It's me, Bow. Putty, putty. I'm a furry. I really like to yip. I've seen none of that. <laughs> it's all been posted. Like it's... I don't think <clears throat> you're a lawyer here that. anymore, but you no, are. I mean, um, I'm right here. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Ask my friend to lift me up. This is a picture of crop porn, Your Honor. And Bow replies with, Oh Wait. my God. Real. <laughs> Respectfully, Your Honor, I have been saying that the line is blurred between what is content and reality. And I think Bao knows that the line blurring has made her a furry. She has been one for so long that she deluded herself into thinking that it was some kind of bit, but it never was. It was always her. Your Honor, we literally look like a... A, a a crossover episode of Jimmy Neutron and Fairly Odd Parents right now. I would just like to point that out. Uh, I am a 2D like character that. next to a real human being. So <laughs> yes. I, I would just like to know, you know, like, is is there even... The, the line is pretty... I mean, this man is moving in a space I cannot even comprehend, so... Shop, MS Paint, memes, media, all through the yes. internet, out of context. Objection, Your okay. Honor. Bow clearly had a familiar resemblance here and knew where the picture came from. Um, Overruled, you are leading by implying that she knows where the picture came from when she clearly mm. stated she doesn't. Very well. Thank you. Wow, that actually, like, that actually kind of worked, except for it didn't. Because that's not how you really do objections. Like, that's kind of like the meme version of objections where, like, you are allowed to speak. You just say, like, objection leading. And then it's called, like, a speaking objection. They're really frowned upon. It's just, like, objection leading. And then, like, so the person is given an opportunity to explain. Like, okay, open it up to explain. Now you can open it to explain if the judge asks you to. But you just say leading. And the judge is the one that makes the decision. But... Yeah, that actually wasn't that. That wasn't horrible. That was not horrible. That little that the rest of this is a mockery of the court. But that little part was cute. Thank you for the we sub. have more pictures. You getting the genitalia stuck now inside tell of tell somebody. Tell about my keyboard and my putty. My putty. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the Ace Attorney version. <laughs> Explain the overwhelming amount of evidence of her being a furry that you're trying to write off as co uh, as content. The devil oh, made me do it. Are you saying that Bao <laughs> caters to fur? Like, excuse me. Take the putty and put it over your mouth. Happens quite often. One click of the keyboard, and who yes. knows where it lands. Phishing scams, all the way it's to downloading over, it's links. Over right now. Oh no, She's the tiny. devil's taking over. She's tiny. Oh my Not god, my get out of the courtroom. Room. <laughs> I rebuke. Stop Bao. <laughs> okay, we'll stop that there. That one goes on for another three minutes. That's good. That's good. Definitely a good one. Appreciate that clip, guys. Thank you so much. I love how all you guys were commenting there. Based and demonetized. That's right, guys. Fighting monkey. It's that time of the night uh, when you get demonetized. Lile says, just checking uh, the video TOS. Curious provisions. You may want to consider that considering it prohibits use of software for ill-intended reasons, including but not limited to many isms. Really? I'll look into it. I'll look into it. If it's something that might ban me off of it immediately, that's a problem. Uh, Zin says, you need to look up Bao's tweet about Blade from Elden Ring and her response to the VA reading it out loud. Now I'm afraid of Bao after that. We got we just got into a, a talk about yiffing. Anytime yiffing is mentioned, I, uh, I'm, I'm mind broke. Um, as Papakistan National, we will watch carefully. 
Uh, manager soon says, well, that's it for the stream. Uh, to monetization re re reparation. Thank you for the reparations, guys. The only time I support reparations is for demonization. Yeah, that's Bal. She's incredibly crass. Sounds about look okay. That's fine. I'm okay with the white, the crass waifus. I, I I don't. I love them all. I love the wholesome ones and the uh, and the lewd ones, uh, and the crass ones. Uh, looks like the Niji Sanji subreddit is going to get a significant spike in mod activity deletion. Like this seems to be happening. Really. Really well. If there, this is, if you guys let me know on this tomorrow, keep me posted. Uh, I can cover it in the future if there's like insane moderation that's going down. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Captain Coconut says, if you do a collab with Pippa, I don't know what. No, no, no. Um, sorry. So it'll be on Pippa, not with Pippa. I mean, that would be a whole different level. But um, but yeah. Uh, please ask why Hippa and Papeta seem very Pippa sus. Her paws might be over those legislation documents. Very true. I'm trying to hide something or not hide something. Um, Copacetic says, Pippa, you say. Check out the Pippa. You you just can't ask that. Only 19 seconds. Looking forward to that. Okay. Pippa, you can't just ask that. 19 seconds is a good leg. 19 seconds is a very good leg. Okay. Okay. Um, Since we're demonetized, look up grave robbing boys commentary claim. Oh, we'll save, I'll save that. I can only do so many here tonight. And we've got some long ones. So uh let me get to those. But I will put that in the, the queue. Uh, Jeremy Hernandez says, when anything involves bow the whale, be careful. And now I know. Part of my education. The socially unacceptable associate says bow is beating something, but it ain't the alligator. Oh man. Dude, this is no different from ace attorney series. <laughs> I know. Uh, Ace Attorney isn't fully accurate either, but it's it's interesting. Uh, Ditsy Ditsy says, "Do not bring on Kirsch for that purpose stream." I will not. <laughs> it will be it will be myself and either one other person, one one other person, just not, but not Kirsch, not Kirsch. Um, all right, so we'll get this this one here. Um, oh, someone asked, "What do I think of Ace Attorney?" I think it's a fun series. I think it's a fun series, not accurate to the U.S. system, but fun. It's fun for sure. Very, very fun. And frankly, for me, fun is more important than accurate. Uh, I'm going to make her feel fucking useless. Someone doesn't even realize trash and ramen everywhere. It must be Pippa's place. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? You're not going to get down with nutrients, only eating ramen. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a child. I don't really... Why am I black? Oh, Pippa, Pippa, Pippa. Oh, Pippa. Just so much, so much here. Also, I'll, I'll play the phase gear one and then we'll do the long, long man. Oh, God. <laughs> Good thing we're already demonetized. <laughs> Tonight in Phase Gear, Ember buys a hot dog. Hello? Can I get a hot dog? Tenma commits copyright infringement. We're going <laughs> to get the NCA'd. And Lumi fucking kills us. I'm literally going to kill myself. <laughs> That's about right. That checks out. That checks out. That checks out. Uh, all right. This. Nothing to do with VTubers, but there's a video of MJ Smooth Criminal set the Ace Attorney. Oh, I'm sure I would get. I'm sure I would get copy strike for playing that one. Uh, well done. Have you not seen it? You ought to. You ought to on your own time. I will watch it on my own time. Yeah, I'm not. The Smooth Criminal is going to trigger the algo. Lula says the whole veto TOS is 333 words be interesting to get your reaction on stream uh veto.tube.terms okay i will check that out um dragonator i got you there ul says bro seriously considering taking a poop on geary's kitchen counter live on stream while wearing a blue suit she would be invisible then suddenly low no bow 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 oh my god that dj dj um Let's play Long Long Man. This is a uh, Japanese commercial. <laughs> 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 
トールさんが叫ぶグミ咲いてる時の顔が好きそうもっと長ーく見てたいなあーラーンラーンマイオーマイガーッ危ないねあの人避ける軍隊長い避ける軍おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおえ、さっきさける組のマンゴー見つけてさ。本当。バイク便で送ったから。そろそろ拭くと思うよ。そう、すごいタイミング。サインお願いします。ラーン、ラーン。ちいちゃん。聞こえてる。あ、届いたよ。ありがとう。is this N. T. R. approved。like do I have to put an N. T. R. tag on this guys。マンゴー味珍しいから、たくさん買ったんだ。今度二人で食べようね。マーケティングで。no。That little NTR right here! Really? Um, sorry. 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 Um, Okay, we've already been cocked to two minutes and 31 seconds in already. Already? Wow. Wow. We're two minutes and 31 seconds in. I'm already crying right now, guys. I'm crying right now. I'll put the link in the chat after. ちいちゃん。黙っててごめん。実は私もう長くないの。だから長いものを見ると安心できるの。ちいちゃん。避ける軍隊長い避ける軍。どうしてそんな猿芝居したの？目移りするの。キーの悪い癖だよ。だって長
叫んじゃねえぞ。はたぼうよ。Oh, God. Long, long, long. On the wedding day, Sakir Gumi, Nagai Sakir Gumi. It just doesn't, it like, I like how it just flows through. Like, it just flows through. I think that broke me. That actually broke me right now. You guys broke me with a goddamn Japanese gum commercial. <laughs> I thought I would not be broken, but a Japanese gum commercial just broke me. I'm like, how much NTR can I sit through? And then it's a plot twist. That is, that is classic. I love it. By the way, thank you so much, Rio. I got to go some s p i f t legal mindset memberships. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Big, thank you. Big love for the long, long man. Thank you, Rio. Appreciate you guys. Say thank you to Rio in the chat and everyone who gifted memberships today. But seriously, though, thank you so much. Helps me support the channel, helps me have fun, educate, and entertain、uh, as an almost daily basis. I try to stream every day, if not every other day. So thank you so much for that, Rio. Appreciate your support、uh, of this channel and of this coverage. Uh, Christ, thought I had a call coming in top gear. <laughs> That's my ringtone. Kind of Church says the boss coffee commercials with Tommy Lee Jones are classic. I need to watch those. I like, I like good commercials, especially Japanese commercials can be epic.、Uh, Acid Burns for one. Thank you so much. Junebug said the East love their NTR stories. Oh man, he can't keep getting away with this. And Muzzy says, Long, long man, better than anything Hollywood can think of. Base Japan. That, that would never be made in America. Because the thing is, like, even though it was a plot where it was two dudes, it was like the, the plot played out in an ingenious way, right? Like, it's just an ingenious way. The Hollywood wouldn't do it that way. The West wouldn't do it that same way. Like, it, it's just the level of humor in that. Mwah, perfect.、Uh, speaking of humor, Let's watch、uh, Ken Ashcroft sings Pip of the Ripper. Oh my God. Oh, did you see it? Oh, wait, no, I did not see Ken Ashcroft's new video. Wait, that would be an interesting one to check. Pippa is here. Oh my God, Pippa. Hello, p e e p e r s Oh, now you guys are nice to me. Now you guys are nice to me. When usually you guys are like, get the fuck out, Pippa. I hate you. I hope you die of cancer AIDS. Okay. Here's what I have of Pippa the Ripper. The rest will be done during the week. Oh, God. Oh, Kenny looks cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, Here's your superstar tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you know who this is. It is your one and only Eva in the house.、Uh, you know how it's going to go down with me. I'm about to tell you, so listen good. Here I come from e g a i d o l It's actually pretty good. It's really good. I didn't know this guy. What's he famous for? Let me look him up. 
dreams if you dream to become somebody awesome in this world but fate really sucked i had to give up show off. that's how i lost my way then came along a way i can shine a virtual space where i can roam you may laugh at me but that's how things unfolded in this crazy life of mine I must watch out, there are many rivals waiting cool. to keep me alive. I will not give the stage to anyone. Here I come, a mega idol. All eyes on me, no eyes on you. You think I'm silly? I'm here to Agreed save DCB. the world. I'm gonna fight, fight till the end. And then I got a throat infection, and <laughs> I literally couldn't sing anymore. Uh, happy birthday, Pippa. <laughs> That's good. It's good, good stuff. Good stuff from Ken Ashen. Definitely support that. God, it's so great. Pippa the Ripper is such a good one. Uh, Jim Blades, clip away, my friend. Clip away. Legal Mindset's reaction to Long Long Man. Like, just lawyer mind broken by Japanese commercial, right? Uh, you need to listen to Pippa by and I, Well, that's what it is. Yeah, we, we got that. We got that right there. Uh, Pippa. Pippi Pippi? What? What? what uh, huh? I will look that up. I'll look it up. Uh, did an epic Navy SEALs copy pasta? Oh, I'll check it out. I will check it out. Um, but for now, that's all we wrote today. Oh, also, uh, we had a two dollar Rumble rant from Mister Cage Gaming, who says, "Ha ha, re NTR." <laughs> Some people just enjoying the NTR. Oh man. Uh, but guys, it's been a great stream tonight. Thank you for joining. Make sure you like the video, share it out there. And I will be back for you guys tomorrow. We're going to deal with um, the Hollow Live uh, China. And I'm going to be talking about some of the downfalls there, some of the pitfalls that were involved in that. Kind of a historical one tomorrow, uh, unless there's any new news that comes up that I'll, that I'll, I'll cover. Obviously, there's something big that comes up. I'll cover it in the beginning, and then we'll go into Hollow Live China. A little bit, probably a little bit longer tomorrow because more of historical stuff, reviewing some longer stuff, uh, but should be really interesting. Guys, have a wonderful stream. Or have a wonderful night. This was a great stream, and I will catch you all next time. Peace. And I'll leave you with a. Uh, I'll leave you with a. Uh... Hello, Maybe I have a chance.